airplane emojis in the chat if you guys are ready to get started. That was epic. <laughs> Hello, hello. Let's move this out the way. Oops. There we go. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy blue it's so good to see you guys again we are back again on dcs world i just cannot get away from this flight simulator lately i have just uh, no no matter how many times i i die and get murdered by other enemy jets i just cannot stay away from dcs world it's just something that just draws me into it and uh maybe it's the need for speed maybe it's the danger zone maybe it's the the sounds i don't know what it is i mean it's probably a mix of a whole lot of things but we're back on it again guys a brand new map has just come out to D for dcs world just yesterday and so i I am this is my first opportunity personally to get a really f a first look at it so I'm looking forward to flying over the map I have created a very simple kind of free fly mission uh, for myself and for whoever else would like to join us uh, this is a public multiplayer server right now that I have put online uh, the name is in the description you can also type in exclamation mark server it's called Blue Arrow Force I think uh, South Atlantic uh, training or something like that password is blu116 blue116 so if you want to hop in if you have the map and you want to join me fly in formation whatnot it's gonna be pretty chill um, i do have some targets here and there spread out across the map so if we get bored of just flying around we can bomb some stuff as well so all that is definitely there the one thing that i did not include in this particular version of the server is air to air targets because i ain't got time for that today <laughs> i mean i guess i could have put like some some planes in the air with no missiles i don't know but either way the whole point of today's stream is really just to get a first look and, and look around at the map see what raz bam has been able to do it's a massive map if i show you guys here if we go into the uh into the sim we go to the f10 menu you'll see that this is where we are we are down here in south america argentina right here chile right here the uh the balkans the falklands are right over here so not the balkans sorry the falklands uh falkland islands are over here so this is a setup. It's it's pretty crazy. It's it's massive. It was a 70 gigabyte download, um, which is nuts. And not, this is early access. They're not even done. I have a feeling when they do finish the map completely, it may go way up in the amount of uh, of space it takes. I had to go and like delete so much stuff from my PC last night just to make enough room to get this map in. So hopefully it was worth it. As I said, I put in a few targets here and there just to kind of mess around. There's plenty. One thing I've noticed about this map is there's plenty of areas and, and airfields for helicopter pilots. If you love helicopter stuff, this is going to be, mm, yeah, so good for you. Um, we're in the F-18 today. I thought about flying the F-16, but like, you know what? I'm gonna stick to one thing for now. I wanna, I'm not even good at the F-18 yet. I wanna get good at something before I go switch it and hop into a different jet. So um, over here is the west and east Falkland Islands. I can go to the uh, satellite view as well. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, something yell over it. And uh, so I have a base over here. I got a couple of targets over here. It's a, this is the part of the map they really put the most time and energy on. This part of the map looks, yeah. It, I've I had a close, uh, not close. I had a quick look at this area. Um, I was doing a bit of a test flight, make sure I wasn't having any performance problems. But um, it was, yeah. They put a lot of work into it. They've covered the whole map, from what I understand, in ortho photos. If you're from Microsoft Flight Sim or X Plane or P3D, you know what the heck ortho photos is like. That they've done it to that level. So, but what I want to see, we're gonna take off from over here in uh, things called Punta Punta Arenas. Uh, what is on the ground here i think this is in chile and uh, i'm thinking uh, we'll probably head maybe north because i want to see what all this looks like like all this area we flew in here recently not recently but not too long ago we flew into into this airport right here 
uh, on Microsoft Flight Sim with some amazing scenery and it looked amazing. I love the arrival of the approach. So uh, I wonder what it's gonna look like in DCS world. And again, look how massive this map is. Like you can see all of this, this is crazy. So um, yeah, we'll start here. And honestly, if I show you the ruler, if I go from this, the farthest airport on the right and I go to say where we are now, that is 493 nautical miles between Port Stanley and Punta Arenas. That's that's crazy. And if we were to fly like from end to end of the map, looks like it's gonna be, I mean, this is a little bit better. It's not a straight line. 892-ish nautical miles, or probably round up to about 900 nautical miles. Uh, that's nuts. That is crazy. Uh, yes, I am sure the uh, the server is up. It should just search Blue Arrow Force. It should pop up. It has a it's password protected, so you got to put in the password. But uh, I believe I am. I could restart it to make sure. So let's you know what? Let's just try that. Let's restart it. I'm gonna leave the server just to make sure, because you know I don't usually do this. this. is my first time trying to host my own DCS server, so we'll see if I can if I can do that. Um, let's see, new server. There it is. There it is start public it did say public you saw that right so yes yes to do that trip you might need a refueler you might be able to make it if you bring all of the the fuel tanks i don't know that's something i do want to try i don't think we're gonna do it today i think it would just bore you guys but you know then again we fly end to end a to b all the time on the channel with airliners but i don't know i don't i don't know that you guys would actually appreciate a end to end 500 mile flight in an F 18 or F 60. I don't think you guys would appreciate that. I don't know. Maybe you would. I don't know. Uh, but that's something I want to definitely try to see if I can do. Uh, right, I'm going to spawn in here again. Yeah, server should be up. It should be working. So, are we in here now? Maddie, you were in here the whole time? See, we got peoples in here. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, I'm in again, so if you were in the server, um, go ahead and respawn in if you were able to make it in. Let me know if you have any issues, guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're in. So if you can't do it, you can't do it. It is all good. No worries. I'm on pause. How do I unpause? Uh-oh. My pause button is, my is like, linked to my track IR. Hold on, I gotta unlink it and then I gotta unpause it and it will be good. Service is paused right now. There we go. Now we are unpaused. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Looking forward to this. It's been, you know, we don't get a lot of scenery packs in DCS World. Like, Microsoft Flight Simulator and, and, and uh, X-Plane, we get new scenery like every day, you know. But on DCS, you don't get new scenery very often so when you do get new scenery you know it's you really want to check it out and the first thing i usually do is do a nice bit of a free flight just flying around and then after that we get into the down and dirty into the mission into the the tactical stuff micah welcome to the stream man good to see you. many developer uh the map is 70 gigabyte download i think it's like 75 70 75 dan crossley what's up my friend welcome to the stream you are new to the channel and new to dcs just two days old I'd love to play for on one of our servers. Once you could take off literally anything. Hey, I'll give you a cheat, man. You, you may or may not have heard this, um, but I don't know how to start the engines on most of the planes. The only thing I know how to start is like the Apache, and that's it. <laughs> uh, but if you press left Windows and Home, it goes through the auto start sequence. So that's what I'm actually using today. That's what I normally use. I try to focus more on the my air to ground systems than anything else. I need to get the the tags turned off. I don't want the tags on. Can I not turn the tags off? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so now you can see it's popping up on the top right of the screen. Uh, it's actually going through the whole startup sequence for us. So that's what I always do. I never start the engine myself because again, I focus on trying to learn the systems. Unlike regular flight simulators, on regular flight simulators, part of the of the, the trickiness and the in the fun is learning how to start the aircraft. In DCS, I agree, you have that exact same element, except on top of that, you gotta learn how to use all the different you know weapon systems. And every weapon has a whole different way of being released. Yeah, the music was intense, wasn't it, Aviator Joey? 
Uh, Cadges, how do I like the map so far? I don't know yet, honestly. I gotta, let's get in the air, let's go see. That's why I'm here, <laughs> to find out how I like the map. So I'll let you know here in maybe a few minutes. So we're firing up now, guys, in the F-18 Hornet. I, I, you know what, I'm gonna call this my jet. You know, whenever you go into aviation, into whether it's military or uh, civil, um, you get, you know, either assigned or you train to fly usually one aircraft. Obviously, you can fly different, you can have different disciplines. But for me in DCS world, I've come to, to understand that the F-18 is my jet. That's that's my squadron. That's that's what we fly. <laughs> um, I have the F-16. I have the F-14. Yum. I have all different jets, and I enjoy them. I love them, and I want to fly them too. But when it comes down to me trying to be as efficient as possible and knocking right targets down and learning and knowing the most Flight about the confirmed. aircraft, the F-18 Flight is that confirmed. for me. For sure. Yes, left windows in home is a lifesaver. I use it on every aircraft. <laughs> and DCS is a little loud, so we'll have to bring it down only for the stream. Usually I leave it up. It's a lot quieter out here since uh, we're on a private server today. Yes, sir, Shadow, I'm using Auto Start. I'm doing it the easy way and taking the easy way out. Don't judge me. <laughs> You still can't find a server? Let me see something. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to find the IP and all that. Yeah, I just searched Blue Arrow. I think I might have named it differently. Search, uh, yeah, Blue Arrow South Atlantic. Or just search by South Atlantic. Like, search by the map. It's not a whole lot of people. That's the reason why I made my own map was because, or my own server is because I, I couldn't find very many, um, like, public servers yet that were running the map. Are my ports open? I don't know. No idea. I mean, I feel like I've hosted a map. I've hosted before. Let me see, is there's nobody in there? I gotta restart and everything. Is anyone else having trouble getting in or finding the server? If so, then I can take a look again. We we'll have to restart the jet again. If not, I guess I'll be flying solo. All by myself. It's almost done with the auto start. It's now doing the IRS align or INS alignment. DCS service require your ports to be forwarded. What does that even mean? What does it mean port forwarding? I don't even know what that is. Is that in the DCS settings or is that something I gotta do on my like antivirus or something? Thank you, Mad Dollar. Yeah, we got some great liveries. The F-18 livery. We got three versions. We got this one, the black one, the desert one. Uh, F-16 has uh, three versions. I have to go into my router, like my actual router. You guys got to be more specific. Oh, not my physical router? I'm confused. Alright, well, we'll have to figure it out next time. I'm sorry, guys. I, I tried to make a public server. Apparently, it uh, doesn't want to be public. So, we're just going to go with it, guys. I'm not going to spend two hours of my stream trying to figure out how to do Wi-Fi. <laughs> I apologize. 
It's all good. We'll try next time. All right, cool. So I got the lights on. We're all powered up. We'll get the brakes. Our oh, brakes are already off. Let's go into the little steering button on. We got three tanks. If Maddie can get in, then then you guys are wrong. But I don't know. Let me know, Maddie, what happens if you're able to get in or not. All right, we are taxiing out. All right, so so far, just on the ground. On the ground, I'm getting pretty good FPS. That's one of the first things I was wondering about. The actual buildings themselves look a little bit saturated. Like, I don't know, they just don't look believable. Like, they kind of feel like placed objects to me. They don't feel like they're really a part of... Yeah, like, at least at this airport, they don't feel like they're really a part of the environment. They just kind of feel like scenery objects to me. Yeah, Maddie said he was in here before, so let me know, Maddie. Yes, password is BLU116, my friend. So if Maddie can get in, then we'd have to find out why the rest of you guys can't get in. We shall see. I right, don't have any waypoints today. Just gonna be flying completely via far and using the map. <laughs> yeah, well, man, look at the ground textures, man. DCS is just gorgeous. I love the little rocks they put kind of scattered throughout the grass. Very nice little touch. Very nice. I'm gonna turn the HUD off for the HMD off. We don't need it. Is that a runway? No, that's not a runway. Uh, Maddie, did you get it going? Is it listed for you? Put up Nixel, walk to the stream, man. Ali Head, welcome as well, man. Welcome aboard. We're just checking out the airports as we're taxiing out now. Uh, Matt, if you want, you could drop the IP. I can't see the IP once I get into the server, but I think you can see it from from the multiplayer screen. Oh, they're all uh, in the South Atlantic map in the mainland. All those buildings are placeholder. Okay, thank you, Cadis. Yeah, I, was, I read their forum post. It was a lot of text, so I kind of skimmed through it. But they did say the part of the map we're on right now is kind of still under development. It ha has not been put into as much uh, detail as the uh, the Falkland Islands. So it's, you know, I'm not going to judge it too hard because for that reason. It's supposed to be early access. Man, look at that, that uh, PBR effects there on the ground. That looks amazing. You know what? Why do we have all these... Uh, yeah, we're fully loaded. I got three bags, and yes, the spam rams. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Yeah, the islands are look pretty good earlier. Uh, I don't have the IP right now. So I don't know what the IP is. All right, we're rolling. The runway looks really good. I love the color on the runway, the texturing very different too because we're, we're in a different area than we're used to we're not flying in the middle east we're not flying in russia so the way they have their runway markings is a little bit different as you lift off the ground look at all the trees surrounding the airport yeah that yellow really pops it looks really good and being able to see the uh the tire marks screeching over over the runway it looks really good as well Now, if you guys are into flight simulators, just in general, like if you have Microsoft Flight Sim or X-Plane, you can fly into this exact same airport. I can't remember what the IKO is. There's a small little strip right there. Or I'm not sure what that is. Wow, we're at 3,000 feet. And I know that all that down there is basically ortho photos with trees on top of it and a few roads, but uh, that looks pretty darn good. At least around this airport. Wow, wow, wow. 
Oh, it won't let you put the IP because of the. Uh, oh wow. Uh, if you send, if you can send me the IP, like if you can get the IP for this server and send it to me on Discord, I I should be able to share it. For those who can't get in, or we could just post it on Discord. You guys can get it there. It might be easier. And uh, also, Maddie, were you able to get in? We st uh, you still don't. I don't think you answered that question. That you were able to get in. This is Punto uh, Arenas. Has uh, I think it's three runways. Yep. I'm just like just as we're kind of circling the airport, I'm just getting an idea of how massive this map is. So if I go to F10, we're just in this little area here, and if you look off to the distance, you just see just as far as the eye can see. And you're like, I can go down there. So where should we go first? I don't even know where to go first. <laughs> I don't not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where to go first. Let's just let's head. Uh, let's head west. I don't know if I'm gonna find my way all the way up the map. I don't even know if we have enough time today to fly the whole map. Uh, I I put a few uh, tankers in the air in case we want to do some air to air refueling, but they're kind of like out in the water, so I don't sure if we're gonna make it that far out. Let's go ahead and cl keep climbing. Uh, did I unban you from Discord? Actually, no, I don't think I did. I wasn't, I didn't get your Discord name, so I couldn't unban you. Uh, go to the Blue Arrow Force Discord. Posted in that one. So this is where I'm thinking it's going to get possibly interesting as we get farther away from the, like, more, uh, the more popular area. I want to see if it gets worse in quality obviously we're getting higher so i feel like if we're cruising at like you know seven thousand or above it's probably gonna look pretty good yeah that's where we're gonna go heading to the glaciers now we're heading west are we no, west is that way and again this is early access this is not complete oh, and i was looking at areas that i, could, I think they could uh they could improve and like this that right there i'm not sure it's some kind of mine like a salt mine coal mine i'm not sure what they what they mine out of that area and it looks like it's been detailed a little bit but that that right there would be a, a very good area to base like a fictional mission you know what i'm saying like you know obviously put like some um some static uh buildings and things like that inside of it maybe some construction stuff but then surround it with like uh you know defenses because maybe the enemy's trying to get in to take over his mind for all this money and whatnot i don't know it's an idea such a massive map my god Yes, yes, Gundamator. I have a. I put a. I didn't put too much. I put a few naval forces in the water. I felt like I was kind of doing a little bit, not too much, but a little bit of research on what happened because I'm not very familiar with uh, the what they call it, the Falcon War or Falcon Island War, whatever they called it. Um, not that familiar with it, and so I went and did a little, a, a little bit. I'm gonna look more into it to learn more, more about what happened out here. But um, for what it, it looks like, it, it looks like um, a pretty naval heavy um, battle. And so I feel like it'd be really cool to do a lot of like carrier ops out here. Do have a lot of ships coming in and out uh, of, uh, from the from the east. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, let me know if you dropped it on Discord. Cause I don't have it open. I'll open up up here on my left. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the server. I don't, I don't, yeah, I guess maybe I didn't set something up. It's okay. Yeah, man, you could just crew. I mean, again, we, we, what did we count? Was it 900 miles <laughs> from end to end from uh, east to west? Yeah, yeah, a couple of, was it two British ships sunk out here? Yeah. It's actually, I'm noticing there's a lot of mining mining areas. Another big mine over there on the left. 
And I just feel like this map is just so different than anything else we've had on DCS. I mean, we got, you know, Nevada, which was really cool. Um, it's a real world, you know, test range and area that, we, you know, they test out of Nellis Air Force Base, has uh, Las Vegas included. And then they, I think after that was Persian Gulf, which is obviously a very popular one because it's over in, in Dubai. And, um, you know, very, uh, a lot of scenery, like in the city area, but outside of that, it's all just flat desert for the most part, except for in the north, you get a few mountains out there. And then, um, you know, Syria, which is still a great map, I still love it. Uh, it's probably the map I fly on the most because I love how diverse it is. It has the mountains, the trees. It also has kind of like that desert climate as well. Look at this area, it looks really nice. Like, I feel like I'm on Ace Combat right now with this, the way the. <laughs> <laughs> the way the uh, the scenery looks right now, I feel like I'm on Ace Combat. Uh, Russia, obviously the Caucasus map has been improved, but uh, definitely needs an update. It's been a while. And, uh, you know, I feel like the Caucasus map is a really good free map. It's a good place to start. Um, if you, you know, if you're just getting the DCS world, it's, it's still a great map, I think. I think it's good enough. It has areas where there is snow. Has areas uh, where there's grass, where there's mountains, where there's flatlands. Has the coast for people who want to do uh, carrier stuff, so it's really good for that. Uh, and then Mariana is the one that came out most recently, which is mostly water, mostly marine, naval ops, and then just a few islands. But that's also free too, so it's pretty cool. But I think this one's just very different um, than all. You can already see the snow-capped mountains way off in the distance that we're flying towards. Now, one thing I want to get a look at because I saw in their forum post they mentioned that. It, um, it's, you know, again, this part of the, of the map is not going to be the highest detail because they're not, you know, really completely done with it. But, uh, they mentioned the texturing looking kind of not too great from close up, like on the ground. So I'm going to get, do some low level flying through these mountains out here and see, um, if they're just under promising <laughs> and over delivering or if it's really that bad. Yeah, I think that's what it was just it was just that bad. But we'll see. Sparky Doodles! What up man? Yeah, what I should have done, I should have just got Shadow to just host the server. That's what I should have done. Because Shadow I know Shadow has a I think a dedicated server and stuff. The thing was is like I didn't know. I didn't like pre plan this. The the map came out yesterday. I was like, alright, I'm gonna get it. And I was like, I'm gonna stream it, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And I literally just made this mission, like, maybe a few minutes before uh, we I started the stream. So I didn't really have time to go out and like, hey, can you make a server for me, blah, 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 you know, so maybe next time. Yes, we are in the F-18. Got banned 16. That's a hilarious name for a... <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go through my friend request. Well, here's a question, Maddie. Are you in the server? Because if you're in a server, you can prove that it works. But if you're not, then I'm not sure what you're trying to do. I, I added you. Let's see. Nope, nobody's in here. It's just me. Why are my gear down? Oh my god, how embarrassing. Put that away. Put that away. <laughs> We've been cruising here for 15 minutes with the freaking gear down. No wonder the plane's going so slow. <laughs> Ain't nobody say nothing in the chat. You guys failed. I hope I didn't break them. They're probably broken now. Oh, yeah. We're, uh, oh, nope. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. We might have overstressed it because now it seems like it's, uh. Yeah, the. Yeah. Yep, yeah, the gear doors are all broken off. How do I shut that gear horn? My gear is fine, it's just the doors broke off. Where's the button to shut that off? By the gear lever, there's a silence button. You have to look down. It's a but uh, I can't get my head down there. <laughs> uh, that one? No. Nope. There it is. Alright. We don't need it. We're fine. The gear should still work. All right, we're getting to the mountains area now. 
All right, time for a beer roll. Oh, this looks amazing already. Altitude. Altitude. <laughs> Fugues. Yeah, one thing that's missing already, as you guys can see, are trees. Now, I don't know, maybe there are no trees out here. Maybe it's just grass. Time for some Top Gun! Alright, there's more mountains over there. There's some trees right there. There's a few trees. The missing trees right there. Ah, yeah, we don't have an unlimited amount of fuel, so I can't burn all the fuel. Yeah, I mean, from what are we, 3,000 feet, it doesn't look horrible. I mean, it's not like a, a ultra crispy. More like original. It's not ultra crispy. Um, and you can see a few of these areas are definitely missing. You see there's a few trees that's been generated, but like it's not really filling out all of it. But again, this is, uh, they kind of warned us about that. But I'm glad they said it because they hadn't said, hey, this part of the map is not done. <laughs> um, but it's good enough for you to fly out there and enjoy it. And, you know, usually probably fly in high, high altitude. So look at it. All that should be trees. It's only a few trees out there. And it's not that I have my trees turned down. Sent me the IP. You guys got me on freaking Discord today. You know, I usually don't check Discord during live streams for this exact reason. Oh, you don't have the map. Okay, so Maddie says he doesn't have the map, but he found the server IP. Oh, you don't Hold have up, Blue. And now we got some trees over here. Mountain. I know. I was, I was like looking away here. <laughs> oh, we got some snow too. Okay, over here it looks better. A little bit better. A little bit better. I like this water section over here. Now I feel like this right here is a good spot to put a whole bunch of enemy Sams. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like kind of like scouting the map to find out right, where can I like where can I base a mission at? You know what I mean? I feel like it's good to do that. I don't make a whole lot of missions, but I do make some missions for myself. I never posted any. And uh, sometimes I want to do training stuff. So, like, I'm, my intention... I know, like, we have some good, uh, some really good um, mission makers in the chat, like Gundamator and a few other people. Um, but I dabble in it a little bit here and there just for fun. You see, that, that looks much better over there. What I need to find is, like, a section of, like... Like that over there, like a section where like you can just kind of fly a canyon. I'm sure there's an area like that. It's busted right here. Yeah, I haven't even done the whole map yet, and it's 100% worth the thirty dollars. Or how I think it was I think it was thirty dollars. Oh, yeah. And I'm not even on max settings. Like, if you have a, a beast of a machine and you could really turn it up, like, I, I can't imagine. One thing that's interesting, this water is way too calm. Maybe my uh, my weather settings are uh, set to calm, calm wind because this water is, like, super just, like, not even moving. Is it $60? My bad. <laughs> is it $60? I thought it was less. Is it is it 60 I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to... Give you that false information. I thought it. For, I don't know why I thought it was thirty dollars. Yeah, this is. If whenever they get you know all of this kind of reworked and really tuned in, this is gonna be amazing. All the videos that I've seen so far, and I haven't watched a lot, but like the pre-release videos are all like people flying F-15s at like thirty thousand feet. I'm like, of course it's gonna look good up there. I don't even know where we are. Which way are we, which way are we heading? South? Okay. I do want to go south, actually. 
I want to get to the other end, um, to the coast, see it looks like out there. I wonder if they like changed the water color, if it's all just like default blue. Like like the Persian Gulf, when that came out, that water on Persian Gulf looked amazing. I was like, wow. Thank you so, so much. Sorry I missed your notification there. I was trying not to die. <laughs> but thank you so much uh, for that subscription. Welcome to Blu-ray family, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, Luca the Goat. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome aboard. Yeah, uh, apparently everyone, everyone's been saying that I don't know if something's going on with my Wi-Fi port or some stupid thing, so you guys can't see the server. So sorry. It's I'm a noob mission maker, so I didn't know I had to do something special to get my server to show up. I could have swore. I, I, mean, I just feel like I could have swore at some point in my, what, three, four years of having DCS that I had made a custom server and had people on there with me. Good afternoon, Mike Sis. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is really cool. This is really cool. Imagine, like, low-level dogfighting through here. Uh, who we shooting down today? Hope, hopefully nobody. <laughs> I got the weapons are really on here for for show. Um, I have no intention on pressing the trigger today. And yet, honestly, and I mean, we're, we're gonna fly out to. Um, the really good part of the map out by the islands where they've really put the work in and uh, we'll see how everything performs there but I mean out here I'm getting I mean, it's really smooth all right let's climb up we get some altitude and we're gonna head down south wait that's east south is the other way yeah straight all aboard yeah, put all the threats down there, yes sir. Thank you so much, EG uh, Razo for the Razor for the uh, subscription. Welcome to the Red Fire, my fan. Fly by for you. Where's the plane? There it is. <laughs> oh my god, I broke my gear. My gear. Um, my gear doors. Let's come out of burner. I don't have. I'm trying to think. Look at the map. Where are we? So we're over here, in this section, which is really cool. I love all the like the water surrounded by mountain section. I remember. You know what? Now that I think about it, I want, they probably didn't model it. If Starly is here in the chat, we took off from an airport, a Microsoft flight sim somewhere down here in the south, and we did a bush flight. I remember that. Thank you, Sparky. Wow, look at that. But again, yeah, they, so they've kind of done a similar method to, you know, what we're used to on on uh, civil flight simulators, and that's using ortho photos on top of elevation data. So what are we at now? 18,000 feet. I mean, you can go down low. It doesn't look horrible. There are some spots where we're just missing some trees. I don't know if it, I don't know if we're ever going to get every single area that needs tree like the map is just too large i feel for them to just cover every square square mile and uh and accurately place all the trees um i'm sure they probably have some kind of way that they're trying to like generate that automatically based on color or data or something uh, but there's some areas where there's supposed to be trees supposed to be or is it supposed to not be trees and they are actually there Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Just sightseeing today, man. Uh, you know what? I'm not against that idea, EG. It has been a while since we've flown the uh, Fly-By-Wire A320NX, and it is on my list 
of Planes to Fly uh, in the near future. So I'm listening, my friend. Thank you for that suggestion. Uh, even though the Phoenix is a great plane, I agree, but I think Fly by Wire is also a great plane. And I want to go back and fly it now after flying the Phoenix to see, like, all right, do I still get that satisfaction? Am I going to wish I was flying the Phoenix, or how am I going to feel? So I haven't flown it since I've flown the new Phoenix A320. So I want to go back and check it out. Look at how that looks with the sun and the shadowing. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, how many of you guys in chat who play DCS were looking forward to the new F-15 Strike Eagle from Razbam? I know it's going to be probably a while till we see that come out. Somebody tricked me in my last stream, had me thinking that the F-15 and this map was coming out today, but it's just a map. But the good thing is, now we can get our, all of our missions ready for that F-15 whenever it does come out. Yes, uh, the same developer who made this map is also developing an F-15 Strike Eagle. And uh, I have no idea when that's coming out. <laughs> but uh, it's supposed to be uh, I, you know, I don't I have no idea it could be uh, later this year who knows uh, I'm sure there's some information out there I'm gonna climb up a bit higher how are we doing on fuel we have ooh, 6,500 pounds we need we need uh, <laughs> we need a tanker ASA we're not gonna make it to anywhere like, see, let's see we've already covered let's see how far we've gone we have covered, uh, nine, we're 95 miles away from where we started, and we've only seen barely anything. Like, look where we are. Look where we are. It looks like these mountains up here are even bigger. So. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at too, Shadow. That's kind of how I am right now as well. Like, I don't have, I don't really have any... Uh, I mean, I'm just learning from tutorials. Um, I really, what I need to do is, is go in and find a, a group of people who are really like just experts at, at the F-18 and learn from them some of the stuff that I can't learn in the tutorials, you know what I mean? Um, but that's what I'm doing too, man. I'm, I've decided to focus on this plane, even though like today uh, and yesterday, I was like, ah, I wanna go fly the F-16. I was like, nah, I'm just gonna stick with the F-18. Because I want to master it. I do. I want to get good at it. I want to be able to, you know, do air to ground and air to air, not just air to ground. I feel like i am gotten really good at air to ground. But when it comes to air to air, as you guys saw in the last stream, not so not so hot. Um, I have to be the guy you got to escort. <laughs> so we have, we have, we have 6,000 pounds. We have enough to go back to where we came from. Um, but that's no fun. I want to go somewhere new. Uh, I feel like if you're going to travel from side to side of the map, you're going to have to place maybe one or two strategic tankers in the air along the way. And I think that'd be a pretty fun challenge is to try to fly from one side of the map to the other side and uh, just have like a, a, you know, a KC-135 in the middle to, uh, to refuel you. Let's head. Yeah, we're going in the right direction. Uh, and But the thing, too, is that you have to you can't take forever getting refueled now one thing i'm noticing and you may have saw it so if i i look look at the quality of this here look at the mountains around us right look at, oh you know what let's turn on the air to ground radar Ooh, cool that's cool um yeah so look at the quality of the mountains when i go to the f10 menu they go here, right? And then I come back, and they look like milkshakes. <laughs> um, but it looks like whenever you go, you leave to the F10 menu, it like kind of like unloads the textures or something. And when you come back in, it has to reload in the textures again. It's pretty fast, but uh, it is definitely noticeable. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I should drop my tanks too. You're very right. Alright, we're gonna jettison. Can I get rid of everything? Like, even the weapons, too? Uh, we didn't jettison? I thought I did. Let me see. Back inside. Oh, I think I have to have this armed. Now try it. 
There you go. Well, it was one of them. <laughs> there it is. I wonder where they go. Like, has anybody ever actually tried to follow them? Is there an F6 command to watch? No. No. Yeah, I wonder if they, like, just fall into the ground and what they do. I've never seen them actually go all the way down. Alright, Master, I'm off. Back in a safe mode. And have 5,000 pounds left. And we can go much faster. And most of this area is kind of like, I mean, it's it, it looks the same for a while. Obviously with much, a lot of variation. Would love to uh, try to land a helicopter on these mountains at some point. I do have a lot of helicopter spawns, so if you want, we can take a helicopter out for a flight too. Uh, Maddie, you just bought the map. It's fifty-five ninety-nine. Nice. It, I think it took me about. Uh, it said it was gonna take about three hours for me personally to download it. Um, I did it last night, so I wasn't actually around to watch it download. Um, but I believe it took about three hours. That's what it said, anyways. I'm gonna see if I, if I, if I can find an area to fly through. We'll dive down there and do some low-level stuff. Oh, you can see them on the map? I think we're already too far. I wonder if we can make it back to here. Let's see if we can make it back to this little airport. And then we'll go from there and we'll go somewhere else. Let's see, how far is that? That is another 165 miles. This is crazy. This map is so big. You don't realize how far the distances are. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go there. Uh, we don't have a waypoint or anything like that. Let's be uh, heading 105 for 165. So we'll do that. We'll go that way, and we'll land there. Just, I want one thing I need to do as well is I've been wanting to scout that area anyway. Uh, when I was making the mission, I was like, "Ooh, this is kind of a, a really interesting area." I also put some uh, some ground targets over there, uh, mainly for helicopters and A10s. But I, I need to prove to myself to find out if that runway is long enough to land an A-10 or an F-18 uh, or even F-16. So I want to base a few fighter jets over there as well. Tony Tutan, welcome back, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Uh, the flight bot on DCS is wicked cool. Yeah, they've done a really good job, man, uh, with, like, everything. <laughs> they really have. All right, I'm going to drop down low. That's no fun up here. Absolutely swag ice beer. Permission. To go down to the mountain, do some Top Gun moves. Approved. Let's do it. Let's do it. I really want to find that Happy. mountain that we did our, our bush flight, though. I don't know if I'm going to find it. I have to probably go back and watch that video uh, from, what was that, like a year ago? That's like one of our first Microsoft Flight Sim flights we did out here. All right, I'm going to get down low, low. Now, there's no reason at all for me to die, because there's nothing shooting at me. So if I die, then the stream is over. I have to give up on DC. I have to uninstall DCS World. <laughs> Don't go below the hard deck. We're already below the hard deck. We're already below it. I wonder if they'll, uh, you know, I know they won't, but it'd be kind of, uh, I say it'd be cool, but at the same time, it's not needed. <laughs> but I was going to say, um... One thing we learned from flying on Microsoft Flight Sim um, is that uh, whales, I think, and seals are, is, are also pretty common in this area. Uh, people come out here to do whale watching and stuff. It would be kind of interesting if they incorporate that. I like these little, like, mountain things. Well, not mountains, these little, like, little islands. These tiny little islands. Like, I feel like it'd be really cool to, like, just put a bunch of this, this like, fortification stuff on these, one of these little things. It'd be kind of cool. If I die, I have to reset the server. <laughs> oh, uh, I want to say deal, but I, I'm not confident that I'm not going to die. Like, we're down here. There's a high probability that death is possible right now. Oh, yeah. Let's get our top gun on. That's my music. Am I enjoying Patagonia, if that's what you call this place? Yes. Yes, I am. There is whales in the map. 
No way, no way, Cadges. For real? For real, for real. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous out here, man. I actually am really excited about flying helicopters on this map. I really am. I, I feel like if you're into helicopters, I mean, any, it doesn't really matter. If, if you think there's something to enjoy for everybody. You can enjoy this map if you're into flying fighter jets. You can enjoy this map if you're into flying low-level helicopters. Even if you're flying, like, like, I have a P-47 spawn on my server because even though I don't know how to fly that plane, I know it will be a lot of fun to fly an old war warbird out here. Yeah, I didn't know that's what you called it. Cool. Southern Patagonia. Sounds good, man. Make sure we don't overfly our airport we're stopping at. We are going to have to repair it, too, because we kind of broke the... Actually, we might not have to. Put it on the MEL list. All right, as long as we keep going in a rough heading of, like, 100, I think we should get there. It's about a, probably less than 100 miles away now. Let's go that way. It looks kind of like the mock loop, but you know what, now that I think about it, the mock loop looks very similar. But what we need to do though, is we need to find an area that has like a loop and basically make a mock loop out of it. That's what we need to do. I think we may have flown ourselves into a dead end here. Yep. Look familiar? <laughs> Bro, that mountain is just like the one in Top Gun. No spoilers. No spoilers, but that's just like the one in Top Gun, except not as high. That was cool. What we need now is we need the Alaska test range. There's like a, a nice area out there in Alaska um, that they do um, uh, a lot of test flights in for fighter jets, like F-22 stuff. It'd be kind of cool to have that area in DCS World. It's the state of Tierra del Fuego. Cool. I'm learning something today. Alright, let's check the map so we don't get lost. Oh, we are nowhere near. <laughs> we're not even close. <laughs> oh, 2,000 pounds. Are we going to make it? If we do all this the whole way, we're definitely not going to make it. I hate to tell you guys this. Uh, isn't there an Afghanistan map coming? What is that right there? Look at that. Is that a volcano? It's like a hole. Oh, that's really interesting how they put, like, they have a lot of areas where there's water, like little small lakes and ponds on top of mountains. Oh, that mountain right there looks really detailed. The way the sun hits it. Sheesh. Uh, can I do the evade thing? Of the fighter jet they did in Top Gun. Uh, which evade thing? They did a lot of crazy maneuvers in Top Gun. We're talking about the uh, the scorpion, I think is what they call it. Was it a scorpion? Some kind of snake. <laughs> um, that one, I don't know that I can do. I've never tried. Yeah, I believe there is an Afghanistan map coming. I I, I thought so. I thought I saw somewhere somebody was making one, whether it was uh, Eagle Dynamics or something. Uh, Chappy, what's up, bro? Welcome back, man. Good to see you. I heard uh, Josh was telling me that uh, you guys have been working on your air to air to air skills in the Hornets. So I'm really happy for you guys. Looking forward to flying with y'all again. Uh, but so far, I'm really liking the map. I really, I really am. We're flying in not even apparently the the nice part. This is like the the mainland part of the map. Oh, here's Rex. It's 12 o'clock. Um, yeah, shut up. We're flying in a part of the map that's like not as detailed because they're still working on it. But um, I mean, it looks. If you're doing dogfighting and stuff like that, you're not going to have any problem out here. It's all good. All good. All right, it's not crash. I'm trying to... Look at that mountain over there. 
I want to go to the northern part too to see if there's any higher mountains. 2,000 pounds right now. Of fuel remaining. We might make it. I don't know, man. This is gorgeous. There's just so much, like, for people who love making missions, like, oh wow, look at the snow. Look at the glacier snow. Oh, look at this over here. All right, we gotta slow down for this. We gotta slow down for this. Come, somebody come look at this. Look at that. Are we stalling? I know. Look at that over there. Okay, we gotta go this way. If we run out of fuel, we'll just respawn. It's whatever. We're here for do some sightseeing. What I could have done as well when I set the mission up is just put like unlimited fuel. I could have done that. I'm going down there. These clouds are in my way. That is so cool. Like you see, this is where the ice melted. Altitude. Altitude. Now this is, I think, was is supposed to be water. But it's just a texture. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm 100% okay with that. That's still really cool. Wow. 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 Look at this. Where the ice melted turned into water right there too. And I don't know what season we're flying in. Um, but I wonder if they've incorporated all the seasons yet into the map. Because DCS does have a seasons feature where you could like load in spring, fall, summer, winter. Uh, like you see it a lot on the caucus map. Wow, what mountain is this? I feel like this mountain has a name. It might. Let's take the map real quick. Might not see it on this map. Where is my map? Nope, doesn't say anything. Oh well. Am I playing in real time? No, uh, I, I don't know what time it is. It is uh, 11.49 <laughs> a.m. Game time. Yeah, you guys probably don't see a lot of F-18s out here, huh? Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what, uh, what jets or, I mean, I don't, I don't know much about the region, but I'm not sure what kind of aircraft you guys are used to seeing out here. Alright, uh, let's go back. We're not going to make it. Absolutely not going to make it. We might as well go ahead and find somewhere else to land right now because we are not going to make it back to base. So at what time of year do you guys get winter down here in this part of the world? Like what, what month is it? Look at that. Look at that water down there. Wow. Uh, Brazil flies the Gripen, the Gripen. Yeah, they're much, much more north than here. <laughs> they're about, what, a couple thousand miles north of here, Brazil? I'm sure Ar Argentina and Chile have their own Air Force. Where do they fly? Uh, Chile flies F-16. I'm, I like this area. Wherever we are right now, this this part is dope. And we're still away. We barely made any any dent in our. We have 86 miles. We could have made it if we just flew straight there, but we've been sightseeing, so we're just burning through all the fuel. It's okay. So it's winter here now. This time of year, yeah, because it's summer. It's is it summer now? <laughs> I guess it's summer. It's summer now in the U.S., I think, or, or close to it. Yeah, it is, yeah. with the 1,000 pounds of fuel, even if I, like, pull the power back, we're not going to make it 86 miles. So start looking for somewhere to land. We might have to put it in the water. I could, re yeah, I mean, here's the thing, Gundam. I could retard it. You know, I'll try. That's what I'll do. When I, when I die, or, oh, wait. Oh, it's... We could land right there. We could land right freaking there. 
I'm landing right there. Um, once uh, I get out of fuel, I'll restart the server and you guys, I'll show you guys how I have it set up. And if I can make any fixes here, then I'll do so. If I can't, then it is what it is. Now, what we could do is we could maybe try and find another public multiplayer server that is running this map. And we could all join each other on that. I am 100% down to do that if you guys want. Yeah, that's plenty of snow. There's our runway right there. Uh, I'm definitely down to do that since I couldn't because I would much rather do you know do sightseeing with you guys and by myself yes we are near the whales all right so we have 800 pounds of fuel we know we're landing right over there off our right we're gonna start going uh, slowing down and you see that it's gonna follow that snow up right over those and I'm pretty confident now I mean I could be wrong I could be wrong but I'm pretty confident they didn't go to the length of uh, like actually modeling snow depth and stuff like that so it's probably just gonna be landing on like the ground you know what I'm saying <laughs> we'll see what happens I don't know if I'm gonna be the first to do this um, but I, I can't say I've seen anybody else land uh, an aircraft on a non-runway area so here we go, gear down. Hopefully the gear actually will come down for us. Yeah, once I land, we're gonna try to either restart the server and get you guys in here with me, or we'll go join some other Altitude. server that might have a free flight. Altitude. If we can find one. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy landing. I hope. <laughs> I hope. The great the Grim Reapers landed on the snow in the... Okay, nice. They did it too. Cool. Okay, I'm not the first one in. I'm not special. Bro, we are slow, slow right now. Alright, the gear says it is down. So, it's... uh. I believe it then. Yeah, it'll definitely not be the only stream that I do with this map. I'm definitely looking forward to doing some more uh, flying on the South Atlantic map. You guys are down for that. Alright, let's pick a spot. Let's pick a spot and we'll land there. I'm gonna land right here. This glacier is massive. <laughs> Seven hours easy A to finish downloaded. Wow. Yeah. Your internet must be even worse than mine. And <laughs> Yeah, that's why I, when I I wanted to start to get I wanted to get it downloading yesterday before I left for work, but I didn't get the message that it came out until right after I left for work. I was like, crap! I could have let it go, I could have let it download while I was gone, but I had to wait till I got home. But even then, I got home and I was busy anyway, so I was like, you know, what? I'll go ahead and get it downloaded so I can just you know do it in the morning. Yeah, it might be ice, so we got to put it down on the salt. We can't do a carrier landing; we might go right through the ground. Here we go. Oh, very soft. Alright, I'm gonna only... Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. Speed brakes. And pulling the stick back for arrow braking. I'm just gonna let it go straight. I don't want to put a bunch of brakes in. We'll go into a hydroplane. And as you can see, they it's, it's snow, but it's grass. Which is weird. It's just white grass. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Success with 600 pounds to go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Now we can get out and walk around. I wonder if I can refuel here. That's good enough to me. <laughs> 
And another trick, guys, if you hit left uh, windows end. Oh, no. Uh, delete? No. Uh, is it control? No, left control end. No, left shift end. Yeah, left shift end, and I think it's left alt end. Did that do it? Yeah, it shuts the engines off. Auto stop. Actually, yeah, it is left windows in is auto stop. It's been like probably like three DCS streams since we've actually landed somewhere, so I gotta be pretty happy with this. F18 bush tours. Yeah, man. All right, so let's go do what I said. We'll, uh, we're gonna leave the server. Yeah, and uh, if I can get it going here, that's cool. If not, we'll find another server to jump into. All right, so if I say new server. And this is how mine looks. This is what it looks like. I don't know what else to do differently. There's the port number and there's a public IP. And that's it, and it just says start. So like, it should be that simple, right? Under advanced, I have a few options here. That was my port, then all right then, that's fine. I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's just hop on some other, some, let's just hop on some other server um, that has a Falklands. So I'm gonna go search by Falklands. And let's see what servers are up. Wait for the load. Yeah, so far earlier I did uh, jump into the Through the Inferno just for as a test, but uh, like I said, I want to just kind of like enjoy the map right now. I don't want to shoot anything. I mean, I always want to shoot stuff. Like I like to have the option to shoot stuff, but I don't want them to shoot back at me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. We got South Atlantic PVP. That's a no. That was a lot. Leading Edge Mission Server. South Atlantic Discovery. Uh. Fallen Angels, no escape zone, free flight, training only. Let's do, uh, oh look, aerobatics, South Atlantic. The Razbam server is dead, there's a Razbam server. Do I gotta search, is it, is it called Razbam? the heck is that? Where's search at? How do I search a server? <laughs> I know it's right in front of me, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Search. Raz. Bam. There it is. Yeah, let's do that one. That sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna drop the IP because you guys can be asking me for it. I think this is the IP right here, right? Right? Yeah, I believe it is. So IP is coming in the chat for those of you who can't find things. And cool. Oh, here's a problem. Time in mission, 019. That might be an issue. That's probably why it's dead, because it's midnight. Let's find out. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna join and we'll check it out. If I don't like it, we'll find another one. Let me go see what's in, what's happening in there. But yeah, so far, just the mainland part. The, I think we we're in mainly Chile, right? Chile. Um, that part looks great. I think it looks good. Again, there's still some work that needs to be done, but I think it looks great. Um, at altitude, it's, it's perfectly fine. All right, let's see what time. I really just want to know what time of day it is because it might be middle of the night, and that won't be any fun. I see Speedy in the chat. Yep, it's midnight. That's enough for me, dog. We can do, like, you know, I haven't seen it at night. I wonder what it looks like. It looks typical. It doesn't look horrible. Oh, look at this hangar. This hangar is cool. You need more light in the hangar. It doesn't actually illuminate anything. All right, let's leave that server. That server is dead. There's a reason why it's dead, because it's nighttime. Most people don't want to play at night. And yeah, I mean, it's it's the middle of nowhere. There's not a whole lot of civilization. Like, there's small communities and towns and cities, but, like, you know, it's mostly nothing, so it's gonna be really dark and black. But I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to fly uh, night missions 
just not today. Today I want to enjoy it in the daytime. All right, let's find another one. Let's just jump in. I'm like, um, yeah, we're gonna jump in. Um, I was about to hop in one I saw a second ago. Can't remember the name. Was it? Dang it. Wasn't the Fallen Angels. There's another one I was gonna hop in. This one, Leading Edge Mission Server. I don't know who these people are, but we're taking over your server. Uh, so South Atlantic Discovery. So hopefully it's good. I'm gonna star it just in case I lose it. I'm gonna drop the IP for this one now in the chat. Do not use the first IP, use this IP if you wanna join us. If you can't find it. So again, the server is called Leading Edge Mission Server, South Atlantic Discovery. It is uh, not sure what country that is, Germany. Join. Uh, are maps free in DCS? No. Uh, with, with DCS, you get two free maps. You get the Caucasus uh, map, which is a map in it's a part of Russia, Georgia, Russia, I believe. And then you get uh, the Marianas map, which is over in the Pacific somewhere. Um, yeah, so you get those two for free, but all the other maps are paid. So there is the Nevada map, Nevada test range, the uh, Syria map, the... Persian Gulf, which is over by Dubai, and this one. And I feel like I'm missing one. Right, let's see what they got in here. Up my 18. Fly. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's all good, Gundam. That's all good. Uh, if you guys want to, if you are flying with us, you can hop into the Blue Arrow Force Discord, and we can talk and communicate in there. Uh, if you are flying, only if you're flying. I don't want random people in the Discord talking. <laughs> so, but if you are in our flight group, um, feel free to hop, hop in there, and uh, I can. I ha I'm in the chat already. I just haven't muted right now, so. I do have a lot of fun with these games. No gear. Oh, we're hot starting too. Love it. All right, I just gotta get my, gotta get my, my livery, and we're ready to go. Can I have missiles? I can have missiles. A. Or we could do it like the Blue Angels and take no missiles. No, I'm taking some missiles. Just in case. Just in case. Just a few for defense. Request refueling. Request rearming. Copy. Uh, Maddie, I actually did already talk to my mods and admins about unbanning you. The only issue is we didn't know what your... Discord name was, and that is the reason why you haven't been unbanned yet. Yep, we're going full bags, Chappy. Full bags. Flight controls. Flight controls. All right, bags being loaded. Let's see, where do you guys want to go? Uh, this is where we started earlier. We could either go over by Yeshua. What, one thing I actually wanted to do is I wanted to just kind of check out some of the airports. Um, obviously flying over the stuff. So I say we do a flight straight over to this airport and see if we're able to land on this airfield. And then if we make it, we can go to Rio, Rio Grande, and check out that area. Uh, and then if you guys are up for it, we can try to make the trek. Across the water, which is whew, 400 miles. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's far. I don't know if we're going to do that. But uh, yeah, if you guys want, uh, yeah, I'm going to hop in the chat. <laughs> Jeez. Sheesh. Hey, Gundam, you there? I am here. Oh, uh, are you flying with us? I'm in the server right now, taxiing towards your location. All right, sounds good. I uh, think I'm finished loading. I'm going to go ahead and taxi up myself. Uh, do they have a TAC can? Uh, this airport, I believe, does not have a TAC can. 
Uh, yeah, no. Um, yeah, this particular airport doesn't have a Taycan. Um, cause this is actually, a. I'm not sure. I, I was trying to find out some information about this particular airport, but I do know this airport is an international airport in real life, and you'll see Airbuses and Boeings and normal planes um, over there at the terminal. Um, the party I'm not and stuff. A, I'm not a civil aviation person, but I'm pretty sure TACAN isn't too common for civil aviation. It is not. You are correct. Yeah, TACANs are not normally used at civil airports. Um, You'll usually see, like, if it's an airport that has, like, it's, like, half, half and half, and they might have a tack in, but um, it's not very common. So one thing I like about that parking spot is it puts us right on the runway. Uh, I want to give a, just a second to see if anybody else was hopping in with us before we take off. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard me, though, earlier, Gunman. I was thinking about flying from here over to um, Yeshua, or Yushue, and uh, see if we can, if we can uh, attempt to land on that runway. It's pretty short. The hello port. Well, is, there's two. It's like a heliport, and then there's another airport right next to it. Yeah, That's, that sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Let me see. Uh, I don't think that airport has a tack in either. It does not. It has mm. a, a radio beacon, which I don't know how to use. So. Could just make a waypoint. Um. We could, but you know, we don't need to. We'll just take the scenic route. All right. <laughs> All right, 142 nautical miles, rough heading of 129er. One of us will just kind of keep an eye on it, but obviously we're going to enjoy the view on the way over there. Uh, I think we have enough of us. I'm ready to go when you guys are ready. Uh, All right, on me. Oh, I should have brought smoke. Hold on. <laughs> I <accidentally> hit that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I saw somebody had smoke on. I was like, I got to bring smoke. I'll bring the blue smoke. It doesn't make sense. It eventually turns white anyways. Hopefully... Hopefully that's all. I didn't realize that toggle that. <laughs> oh, that was you? <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta clearly use green smoke. Right, oh, I'll green? meet you guys in the air. Yeah, I guess I can no, use green. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm pulling your leg, man. No, um, green I'll makes meet sense. you guys in the air. Green. Green games now. Green games. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Off brand version of blue games. Just, just a little note if you look right uh, in the ocean right behind the runway, you can actually see a wave line. Wave line? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know, just like a line of like white foam on the ocean, soon from like disturbance, kind of like a uh, rapids. I'm not sure. Oh, you talking about um like heat waves? No, no, it's uh in the ocean. Uh, just kind of like white water, uh, right off the coast. You oh, I see. see oh, you mean like uh like waves crashing? Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here before your smoke goes nuts. I can't <laughs> figure out how to turn have it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how to turn it off. The issue is I can't tell if I'm continuing to admit it, so... Because it's already there, right? Yeah, I, I gotta find out what my smoke button is, because I can't remember what it's, it is. It's, uh, T. Tango. Well, I have it mapped just somewhere on my... My joystick, I don't know where. I don't use it very often. And we are lined up. I'll be in the middle. And while you guys get lined up, I'm gonna get find out where my smoke button is, just for future reference. And it's on my throttle POV one. What is POV one? Nope, not that one. 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 I'm pressing button are. smashing everything looking for this button. There it is, found it. Okay. Alright, y'all ready? Uh I'm good. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright. Yeah, so we're gonna go heading one four two ish. Hundred twenty nine miles. Alright, we're running it up. Bell power. Oops, brakes release. I love the yellow numbers and stuff. Did a uh, change of pace. Yeah. Airborne, don't forget your gear. Yeah, we don't want our uh, gear door to fall off. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, that'd be awful. <laughs> Definitely never happened to blue. Look at 
All right. All right, I'm rolling left. Three, two, one. So have you guys had any time to fly on the map yet so far? Just, uh, just a few minutes. I was over Falklands. It looks nice. That's... I didn't, my headphones just arrived today. They're breaking apart. Oh yeah, apart. sweet. I, I've done. I did a bit of testing yesterday. Oh cool. I just kind of messed around with a few missions. Yeah. Set up a few jam sites because that's basically my hobby in DCS. Yeah, I've, I've noticed. You just like you like, you have a obsession with Sam sites. Yeah, this area over here, like near the airport, is like really nice. Hey, right, hold on. My wife is spamming my phone. <laughs> Going roughly about uh, 555 knots indicated. Cool. I'm taking left wing speed to the right wing. Yeah, I'm already pulling that. Hopefully when blue comes back, we'll be all nice and formed up. Oh, oh, uh... Oh, he's, uh... Just reduced altitude. Yeah, that is He's streaming out smoke. Making the mods, we can have three games here. Oh, well. 
Well, I mean, if we're going in the general direction, that's better than, like, going in with the yeah. complete obstacle. Yeah. Get back and like violently maneuver. Get ahead. Uh, well, I hope I hope we're uh, I hope he needs to maneuver right and not left because he will just smack into me. Yeah, I might be able to put pitch down or up and down. Maybe. But we hear any rustling, just drop us out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Are you watching the stream? takes up so much uh data. I wish I could see how I kind of look with uh I've got it open. I'm just I've not actually got a put up thing. Just gotta wait and see if the stream is calling me a bad flyer or a good one. Oh we got a four hornet. Unidentified hostile, and by the name of that is random F A T C off. Smoke pods are giving an extra thrust, I swear. I'm like, max, I'm, I'm literally max power. A point of the with a dump and burn. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Right. Wife was calling. See? Dispatch was calling, I mean. Um, and don't worry, I'm on autopilot, so you're not gonna die. I heard you guys talking. Uh. <laughs> I'm on barrel alt hold and ATC is on, so nothing unless one of you guys clip my wings, which you guys have gotten really close to it, which salutes you. Y'all killing the formation right now. Uh, but uh, speed check five three eight knots. Uh, we're at seven thousand or angels seven point three, and we are flying in the general direction. We're about sixty eight miles from uh, Yushua Heliport, and uh, the scenery has been looking gorgeous. I should say. Well, hopefully we can make the landing. Yes, yeah, because we've, I've, I'm not, I mean, I guess you guys haven't been there yet either, but I've never been to this airport. Um, again, this is my first time flying the map, but. Well, the so. Hornet's a good choice. <laughs> we'll Got see. the naval landing gear. Uh, I mean, the yeah, but it's not, you know, known for short landings on the ground. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is why the Swiss bought the uh, F-18. What, you even the... like mobile arrestor wires you can put on roads. Not sure about that though. Oh yeah. What's up man? Rock City, walk to the stream. Geo, good to see you as well, my friend. Yeah, who's on my left? That's me. Nice. And yeah, who's on my right? That's me. Nice. I see two people. I see two hornets. Yeah, we we don't know who the fourth is. Okay. Well that's fine. He's he's all good. He's chill. Yeah, he's chill. He's been holding it holding it down with us. Uh, now this part of the map is very different than what I've been flying in the past hour. You look at the ground; it's very red. Yeah, the ground is actually very red. Yeah. Uh, the trees are very spread out, but also dense at the same time. It does look nice. I've mostly just been looking at the aim right next on your wingtip, but 
<laughs> yeah, I think that's probably important in our situation. Uh, but yeah, I mean, looking really, really good though. I have to say, looking I really, really good. Back there, so. Yeah, you're fine. I guess everybody didn't get the memo about the smoke. <laughs> no, it's possible. Yeah, it's all good. No, Foofy, welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. Wow. Now, so you know that um, on the map, there's that uh, where we took off from. I don't know if you call that a river or a lake. I'm not sure what it would be considered to be. Um, but that body of water, basically, next to where you started from, in-game, is so much ma more bigger than what it looks like on the map. Like you yeah, think the, when you look at landmarks and shit, the size comparison is crazy. It really is crazy, yeah. I did find it interesting when I first took a look at how uh, choppy and island-like uh, the bottom part of South America is. I thought it was more of a solid formation, but it's got a lot of large uh, waterways. Yeah, it's very broken up. And it's kind of like, I'm not sure what you call them, but like they're like little islands that are just slightly attached. <laughs> in uh, little areas like it looks like you can literally break off or like it looks like it's literally breaking off and falling into the ocean well i mean if it has land attachment i'm pretty uh to the main i'm pretty sure just be called a peninsula yeah i guess so looks cool by the way i love this 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 area here you can tell they put in oh! you, can, you can really tell the areas they put more effort in than others and I feel I like where we are right now has a bit more. Ooh, almost crashed there. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, this just made me realize is that I do not have my troll properly. Say it again. Well, this just made me realize that I do not have my throttle calibrated properly. Oh no. I quite like the uh, stone vibes of the uh, mountains right in front of us. I do. I, I like these nice. mountains right here. Like I, I'm I don't so. Know. Uh, for for you, Gundam, uh, you know you're the. I'm not sure about everybody else and who's uh, talking, um, but you. I know you make a lot of missions and stuff. And like, what do you see potential-wise, just in the scenery? Well, I mean, well, um, hmm. interesting question. I mean, it'll look, it'll look nice. Um, the mountains are just. I find it interesting because they're actually pointy for once. Um, they are pointy, yeah. They're not like all the, humps. All the other uh, mountains are all just kind of lumpy, which is normal for me because I live on the east coast. The Appalachians are all like that. But um, so, 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 like for example, like you're off my left wing, so you might not be able to see it very well. But on our right, at our uh, three o'clock, exactly, you see like where the water kind of goes in and stops, and it's like this little yeah. bitty area right there, where like it's uh, probably some like like you know the town. You could like fortify that town with some enemy stuff and then come in there and hit it with an Apache or like the, in the mountains you can use the mountains as cover in so many areas of this map uh, for either AV Sam's it could be you know for defenses for the base like it's just so many areas like that where it's just like little areas like that you could use to your advantage from there to get away from Sam's and stuff or in my case to hide Sam's or yes in your case to hide Sam's yeah <laughs> All right, we're going to need to kind of head right a little bit. Um, about 1-5-ish, one 1-5-0. Five one five so I'm going to start a right turn. I'm going to come out of autopilot here. All right, three, two, one, rolling right. While you're doing this, applying left rudder, except for you, Blue, can help uh, keep the formation. Uh, other opponents. Tyler Martin, welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, I am not a computer expert. I wish I was. Um, but you, you are going to definitely need a pretty powerful PC um, to enjoy TCS World. Wow, look at this area right here. I think these trees are a little harsh, but other than that, really cool now I don't think they're the first ones I right, leveling off they're not the first ones to use like ortho photo uh, for imagery on scenery but I feel like they're the first one to really rely on it heavily yeah they say they want to finish most of it by hand 
Um, but they, they've kind of started out this way. Due to the fact they think it would take almost triple the amount of time it's taken already to actually do it all by hand. Yeah, I, uh, airport is at our 11 o'clock, down low. Uh, which one are we in yet? The smaller one, I'm assuming? Uh, the, the, the one that's going right to left, that's the one we want to land on. The other one is the heliport. Uh, I don't know what the winds are doing, so we'll probably just land... I think we should land left to right. So that would be... what heading is that? You have fuel tanks, make sure to kick them off, because you probably already used them. Two, four. Yeah. yeah. See how good my landing is with... You guys want to do an over overhead break? Uh... Not here, but we'll fl overfly the runway first and do it. Right, I'm gonna turn left and I'm gonna drop down low, lose some altitude. I'm gonna circle back and uh, do an overhead pass here on this runway. All right, power's coming Switch. back. I'm idle. I love DCS World. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> It's a great game. It is a good game. And when they changed the clouds, that was a massive game changer. Rolling yeah. out. Uh, we are now on our left downwind leg. And smoke's coming off. Alright, still on downwind. Losing altitude, 7,000. Angel 7. Quite like the um, the rock formations in the center of this uh, water body. The rock formations? Yeah, if you look down into the uh, lake, river, whatever you want to call it, just a bunch of little islands. Yeah, so I know you're not into like regular flight simulators, but this is the airport that I flew into on Microsoft flights uh, maybe a month or two ago. And the scenery that I have for the airport, which I'm be interesting to see if it looks anything like what it does on here. Probably not. I think it's all placeholders. But uh, there's like whales and stuff all along this little channel. Oh yeah, that's the thing in that. Yeah, I was out flying earlier and I saw a killer whale. That was pretty cool. In here? Uh, I don't think it was in here. It was somewhere out in the ocean. Altitude. Oh, oh I know they are Altitude. in here. They so we need, we need to go air hunting, or sorry, whale hunting with our air to ground. <laughs> Radars. Yeah, the Apache. Yeah, the Apache. Bruh, oh my god. If I, I see a whale, if I'm gonna freak the heck out. See one in here. If I see a whale, I'm gonna freak the heck out. Alright, turning left down, uh, left base now. Still right, descending. Yeah, uh, far up your right wing. Still Just descending. I'm passing 4,000 feet now. Right, I'm kind of out of the loop on what we're exactly. Yeah, I have to do but a, I'm, I'm flying to parallel roll. to the strip right now. I'm gonna do an overhead break there. Copy. I'd fly over his head. I'd do a rollover because I, I came up a little far. I'm still idle. Power speed is 256 knots. Uh, the base turn is basically the last leg before you go final. The city along here is really pretty. I haven't seen the city yet. The actual, yeah, actual around the airports and everything, it's modeled amazingly. Yeah. Yeah, they put, I think, like, yeah, I was saying earlier, you can kind of really tell the areas that they really have like done by hand so far is like most of the areas around the main airports which is it's just good that's where you spend a lot of your time taking off you know capturing bases stuff like that you're doing around airports so i think that's good all right well since we're kind of like split up you guys want to just land or you want to yeah all right i well, am me... probably about a half mile to a mile off your six right now i'm about okay. to be on final right, well, um, i'm gonna just land and hopefully i'm actually it. i'm gonna go for the heliport <laughs> All right, go for it. Fine, hot. More power to you. I'm gonna piss off the Chilean equivalent of the FAA. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> now, I mean, the runway looks pretty long. I think we should be able to make it. Just don't, uh, don't come in too hot. I like the lady on the runways. All right, I'm gonna do a break overhead because I see someone's on final. Yeah, I see someone ahead of me on final, but he's like almost about to touch down. I'm and I think I'm number two right now. 
Oh, somebody just passed me. That's probably you. Yeah, that was me. I'm gonna do a left hand break onto that one. Alright, breaking. Alright, I'm on speed. And I'm on my left arm. I don't know what runway it is, but I'm on it. <laughs> Alright, my That's runway, cool. short final. Oh, butter! Nice touchdown. Cash oh, yeah, plenty of players. runway. Plenty of runway. Right. I'm turning onto my base now. Right, I'm gonna get off as soon as I can. I believe, if I remember correctly, the taxiway should be at the very end. There you are. Oh, Good what player. the heck is going on? I just dropped the What? Yeah, I know you guys have seen this on my stream because I see it going through OBS. I'm blacking out in my right eye. Watch I hope it's not. Ooh, ooh, oh! What happened? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, he became one with the earth. Where's the replay mode when you need it? Ay, ay, ay. Right, I'm gonna watch you guys land. Keep coming in. Uh, I, I crashed off the runway, so the runway is still clear. See how I think this is a uh, Gundam right here. I'm landing on the helipad. Oh, that was not soft. Not on my screen. Navy landing. <laughs> Navy landing. Yep. They, they even land that their jets up landing. Bro, there's a massive smoke cloud on the runway. <laughs> <It's the end. laughs> oh my god. Need this is medevac ASAP. Call the firefighters too. Well, that was a bit of a tough landing, but I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> that, my frame rates are pretty bad down here, though. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. My frame rate was getting really bad. It was getting so bad to the point that like my the, half of my screen was going black. Yeah, I was at the very end of my landing. I was really glitching out, and I was like, "Okay, I can barely see this." So I throw my throttle to mill. And then when I got on the ground, I I'm not sure why, but my plane started to like pull to the right, and I couldn't get it back on the runway, and I went right into a taxi sign and blew up. All right, somebody's coming in, looking good, looking real good, and touchdown. Good job, Ted. Yeah, good job. Interestingly, there is right. actually ATC for this heliport. There's ATC for the heliport? Yeah, I see a tower right off of. Oh, yeah, this, this airport in real life is towered. Is it one of those airports that only have the taxiway like right in the bottom? Yeah. Oh, they actually did model the terminal correctly. Wow. Good job. I mean, well, they, they think about it, they really out. only made like three or four four airports. Yeah, they want to do all of them, including the minor ones. Um, which you can actually find on the map. They're just like satellite yeah, images. Yeah. But they actually they do want to model all of them, so we'll end up having a couple dozen airports. Uh, as well. Alright, let me see if there's a spawn point at this airport for me to go to. Hopefully there is. We are. Uh, yes, it, we were getting a bit of lag in that area. That, that is correct. Um, Alright, so there are no F-18s at this airport. But there are F-16s. Ooh. Why are you let me see. Yeah. Oh. Right, you just sit down here. 
So. I am here. Bring a couple of nine X's and a three bags. Three bags. I think my landing was actually good. It was just the other stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of my landing. I could have done better, but it was okay. Same. That's how it always is, though. Like, I can land the F-16 butter, but I just, uh, the F-18, I'm always sad about the landings because you're meant to kind of slam it down. Yeah. Gotta embrace it. <laughs> you gotta embrace it, yeah, exactly. All right, rearming, okay. and so, I'm, I'm actually, I think, rearming. shoot, um, I'm gonna have to go and take off and land at the other airport because there's no ground here for you. Ground crew here, so I can't rearm or refuel. You can't rearm here? Uh, at the heliport. Remember, I landed at the heliport. Oh, Actually, I see. I'll just join you in the glorious S16. I see. Now, don't judge me, y'all, in this F16. I just did this whole talk about how F18 is my plane. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how that's what I'm used to, that's what I'm focusing on. So now that I'm in the 16, don't be like, oh, he can't fly. <laughs> I literally never uh, fly this I'm, plane. I'm probably just going to judge you harder for that. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't I don't even know how to turn on the air-to-air -air mode. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah I do, it's an AA button, but I don't know how to use it. So we don't need it in today's fight, thankfully. All right, so while we're rearming and... Uh, Taking a breather after that amazing approach. Um, we could head back up to Rio Grande. I haven't been there yet. All right. Um, where's your skin? There we go. That is, it's crazy how far it is. 67 miles. That, that's not that bad, actually. Won't take any time. That one's right on the water, right on the beach. Wait, where are we going? Rio Grande. Oh, okay, yeah. A little hot. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Rio. Uh, the how do you get smoke? You know, I'm not even gonna worry about smoke because I don't even know how to yeah, use smoke. Yes, doesn't have smoke. Right oh, it doesn't now. have it. That sucks. Smoke wonders haven't been added yet. Ridiculous. I mean, come on. What about the, what about the Thunderbirds? Uh, well, the Thunderbirds actually have a modified F-16. It has. They replaced basically where the uh, Vulcan is. Is the equipment for that was replaced with smoke generators. Ah. All right, I am ready. Yeah, no. All right, I got it. Okay. Normally, what they actually have on F-16s are what, call, are what are called smoke winders, and they're just they, they look like side winders, and they replace the. Uh... Yes, Kenny, two days in a row, DCS. Haven't done that in a while. <laughs> uh, are these taxiways connected? The radical over there, it is not connected. Oh, there's a. Oh, here we go. Yeah, brand new map just came out yesterday. Actually, no, it's not two days in a row. I didn't stream yesterday. Did I? No, no. it came out yesterday. No, I didn't stream yesterday. Yeah, it came out yesterday, uh, this uh, this new map. So we're checking it out. And let's look at it from the ground, guys. Just look out to the distance of those mountains, how good that looks. That's crazy. Wow. Like, well, from down here, the mountains actually look really massive. What I want to do is I want to find, if we can... I don't know. I, I said we were gonna go to that airport, but now I just want to like play follow leader. What are you guys in the mood for? Whatever. I say we play follow leader. Low level flying in those mountains right behind us. With uh, Ted being the leader. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix my uh, my Your throttle. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thing. Maybe I should have brought a. Uh lightning so I can test out the new Fleur engine which has finally been added. It's supposed to look really nice. It looks really nice in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. What I've seen. It's very well modeled for aircraft. You got all the heat from the uh 
What's it called? Friction. Uh, the new, the new, uh, the targeting pod. Oh, for the F-16? Yeah, they added a new floor engine for, uh, all that stuff, so. The F-16, the Lightning now, uh. Can you imagine being at, like, a regular airport and it's just, like, a bunch of F-16s and F-18s taxiing to your gate? <laughs> That can be a thing. I mean, I've seen videos of someone in there sitting in a 737 just taking a video out the window of a flight of F-16s taxiing by. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, that happens. I, I worked at an airport uh, earlier this year. Actually, a couple of different airports that have uh, Air Force bases on them. And uh, you regularly see F-16s, F-18s taking off and landing at the airport. We have, we have an Air National Guard base fairly close, and it's kind of like a mix of that. They have A-10s, and then, then there's a civilian airport, and they show the runway. All right, guys, this is what we're going to do. So Ted, over there in F-18, is going to be uh, basically the leader, and me and uh, Gundam are going to be following him through the mountains. Kind of a bit of a cat and mouse. Now, the goal is not really for you to lose us. It's just kind of just to... You know, like, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys saw the Top Gun movie yet, but this is not a spoiler. But basically... Uh, basically flying formation through the mountains in close proximity <laughs> um, following oh, okay. each other um, that's kind of the idea so not the idea is not to be going full afterburner the whole way but just to kind of like have a nice fly through the mountains but just close enough that we can see each other right off of our you know canopies I'll make, make good use of ACM slew mode then yeah feel free to lock me up if that helps Seeing it's okay I don't know how to so <laughs> Alright, I'm taxing behind you. Though. If I was in the 18, I could do that, but no, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I'm borrowing this jet. Uh, you sacrifice, how do you fix your DCS to not crash every few minutes? Any of you guys had that problem before? Um, no. no. I, unfortunately, I find whenever I have like a big issue like that, uh, the only way I've ever found is to uninstall and reinstall. Yeah, either is, un yeah, try uninstall, reinstall, or try just turning your settings down. Um, those will hopefully help, but um, yeah, it sucks. Where are we going on the off? We taking a left turn or right turn? Uh, we'll just uh, the back taxi is kind of far, so we can just take off on zero seven here. Yeah, but like when when we actually take like lift, are we doing a left hand turn or a right hand turn? Uh, it's up to you. Your leader. Right hand. The mountains on left look good. Uh, yeah, they look real good. I'll just line up in the center. All right, you can take center. I'll take right side. Um, one well, one thing I actually would suggest if you're having DCS crashing issues is open up your PC and just clean out any dust that could be in there because that was an issue once uh, for like everything. The computer would constantly crash. Turns out it was just dust overheating and everything. Hold on now. A kid named Kenny said just he uh, was it Tuesday. He just saw the Top Gun movie for the first time, and he said he loved it. Yeah, and this is the thing, man. Once you watch the movie, stuff like this, what we're doing today. You have a greater appreciation for <laughs> like oh! i mean I, I thought i loved dcs before watching the movie but after the movie i was like all i want to do is play dcs thank no, you so much lamar up. for the sub I my, to do that. my full awesome burner blue. is a lot slower than yours so you guys yeah. are gonna have to retake off and mill yeah it's fine i'm just gonna I try to match your speed i'm not gonna be going for burner cool. awesome right, blue. Uh, yeah go uh, F-16 blue, uh, you're going to want to have nose wheel steering enabled until 90 knots, and that's when you remove it, turn it off. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's not got much right authority to do that. All right. Uh, how uh, do I do I'm flaps? A... You don't. Uh, flaps are automatically F-16. Really? Uh, oh. they're, tied, they're tied to the gear. So as soon as you put the gear down, they'll come down. As soon as you put them up, they'll come up. Okay. That's why you, that's why you do it. You kind of do it as soon as possible in the Viper, because the gear overspeed really easy. Gotcha. All right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get into afterburner. I'm gonna keep brakes on just for a second. Copy. And I'm releasing brakes. Two is rolling. No power test. The F110 engine in this thing is uh, quite the beast. Ninety nuts. One rotate. Gears coming up. Flaps coming up. Right, I'm pulling back the mill. Alright, two's up. Gear up. I'm gonna ditch my tank. One thing I love about the F-16 is how it sounds. Mmm. Delicious. Alright, I'm pulling back a little bit just so you guys can kind of catch up. I'm about 70% power right now. 
Uh, by the way, guys, the server that is in the description is no longer accurate. We're on a different server now. Uh, sorry about that. The server that I created wasn't working for us. <laughs> so, uh, we are now in someone else's server. And I don't even know what the name of it is. I can't find it. You have to look back <laughs> in the stream test screen. There's yeah. someone in the chat probably knows. Yeah. All right. I'm going about 20 knots right now. Yes, Kenny. I think that uh, DCS sounds are uh, Italian chef kisses. Yes. Uh, can I get slowed down before I catch you? That's going to be a no. That's okay. Hey, I'm throwing you right. Oh, wow. I actually did break. break. Wow, this speed rush are good. <laughs> I'm not used I to the F-16. If I was in the F-18, I would have overshot you by like two miles. Oh, yeah. No, same here. The, the speed brakes on the Viper is fucking, it's like really good for it, so for that side. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah. I can, I've got like, I removed my outer pylons, so I'm trying to get used to how quick this thing is now. I've got some thrust. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to the throttle of the 16 versus the 18. I keep overpowering yeah. it. I'm just gonna right. pull up. Uh, I think I'm locking you, Blue. Uh, no, you, got me. you might be, but my RWR is not on, so I don't hear it. <laughs> ah, you got me. I right want to turn that on. Well, we don't need it today, but yeah, you're right. Of course. As soon as our gun gets here, we'll take a left-hand bank into this, into these ravines. Copy. It's giving I'm me. Sure I'm how they're gonna be though. Some of them don't look deep at all. Uh, well, the ones behind us, like if you make a 180. Um, oh, yeah. The ones in that direction get kind of deep. These over here not too deep. Yeah, you're right. I can really scream like that. I'll give Gundam a chance to catch up too. He's I'm like, he's he's dog. He's there. Oh, he's he's with you. <laughs> I'm the one uh, lagging behind now. S16 speed brakes are very nice. Alright, I'm gonna yeah. kick into a left hand turn. It actually gets deep around here. It does. Alright, cool. I legit you, thought you guys uh, were gonna crash to just you. now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all yeah, were gonna crash on my screen. Y'all came together. Alright, I'm gonna start kicking it down into here. Alright, I'm catching up. Make sure my radar out is on for this one. Altitude. 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 Ooh, yeah, I probably just said, uh, shoot the radar too. Look how good this F-18 is at low level. I'm like cruising at 500 knots. I'm at half power right now. It is really good at low level. Yeah. It is. Is yeah, your speed at 500 knots? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm chilling around 500. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Blue, you're, you're doing very top gun, Blue. As, yeah, I'm on the deck, man. Freaking... <laughs> I'm down here. I'm that. Let me see if I can get, like... Let me see how low I can get. I'm down here. I'm not, just beware, I'm not sure they corrected it. The Hornet will suddenly pitch down if you get like below 30 feet. I, they might have corrected that glitch. Oh yeah, here we go, this is what I'm talking about. It's all flat. <laughs> it's okay. One ravine where it just ends. Right. I'm gonna swing a left hand and then back into the mountains. I'm coming uh, around the mountain though. They, there's a beautiful lake in front of us there though. Oh yeah, it is. I see it. Oh, there's another lake to the left over here. It's like this place is like just lake country. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the south is like a swamp. It's it like really the is. The amount of water in here is very swampy, but it's just got like beautiful nature that a swamp definitely doesn't have. Absolutely. You're really making me have to rate my S16. Use its oh, yeah. uh, use its rate skills. <laughs> yeah, I'm barely even pulling on the stick. <laughs> I love the nose authority in this thing. Since I'm like really pretty to it. like it's been getting it's been getting a lot of hate this map, which is you know it, it, it's valid. I understand a lot of it. What kind of hate but is I it getting? Like it. Um, I haven't looked at any reviews. I really have watched like no videos except for like the free. Oh, that's nice. Um, Razdam, in my opinion, just has kind of they they actually make good stuff, but often it's not great on release, and then they refine it, and it gets pretty good. Like the Mirage is a great module, the Harrier is great. At their Altitude. launch, they were not great. Mm. I don't see I'm, you guys I'm, behind me. So we're behind you. I got you. I'm Keep enjoying going. myself. That's what matters to me. I'm not sure where uh, Gundam is. I'm behind you. Okay. Yeah, I got this you. This is a cool uh, ravine. My frame rate's not appreciating this. 
Altitude. Altitude. Pull up. I'm gonna get real low. Oh yeah, we can go real low and fast down here. Oh baby, I'm, I'm cutting the grass right now. I can't get straight enough area to do it. There we go. Lawn mowing simulator. I'm cruising about, I think I'm 80 feet radar right now. Oh, that's a treat. I wanna know who's gonna be the first one to like, splash. <laughs> F-16 is a crop duster. <laughs> yeah, F-16 oh, crop duster. That's what the C means. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find like a cool exit. I'm going to break left here. All it's right. going to be tight for you F-16 boys. It's <laughs> tight for you F-16 boys. I think you're... Oh, you you're turning inside the mountain. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Uh -huh. I had, to, uh, I had to override the uh, G limit there for a second. Though. Yeah. Does that actually work? Yeah. I it didn't know you, that. It gives you unrestricted G. I did not know that. S16 that. does not have that. No. Uh, S16. I was watching a video today. He says that it keeps you at 9 max. You will yeah. also rip your wings off. I think, if I remember correctly, though, the F16, and I, like, if you guys know that, you can correct me. I believe it's actually AOA limited instead of G limited. I don't know. I'm not, it's all fly by wire, so. All I know is be careful and don't rip your wings off if you're fully loaded. Because, you know, in, in uh, older aircraft like uh, MiG 23, that AOA limit was manual, and if you went above it, you would Altitude. get into a spin. Altitude. Yeah, yeah, but the MiG 23 in itself is very dangerous. Yeah. yeah you know what I actually got out dogfighted by a F5? The F5? That, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. The F, no, the F5 is incredibly dominant. Yeah. Well, what happens at first is we're running and against the fights, 21 yeah. and it was screwing it up. And they're like, and the Miguel design guys are like, let's put it against the uh, MiG-23. And there are some objections, like, you know, they're not the same generation. The MiG-23 will go <laughs> ahead and then it lost. Yeah. Yeah, that was, um, that was a general that gave the MiG-23. I don't know if you guys heard the story. There's a general that gave a MiG-23 when it was in the... Um, you know how the U.S. has like the testing squadrons? I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, Red like VX, VX, whatever. Um, yeah. They're like testing captured aircraft and all that kind of cool stuff. Mm. There was a they captured a MiG-23 MF, uh, MS, which is like the worst, the worst variant when it comes to maneuvering in pretty much every aspect actually. Mm. Um, they got a captured one, and this general decided to take it for a joyride, which you know that's a bit of an exaggeration. He went through a very just kind of streamlined training um and he ended, sadly he ended up passing away due to the fact his um the mig 23 is very dangerous and if it goes at mark 2 i think it is or nearing mark 2 it kind of if i remember correctly it'll the Pull flight up. surfaces Altitude. will become like borderline Altitude. uncontrolled so yeah. the way the way you have to do it which is very unique to the mig 23 is i think you put it below idle throttle uh so that could be wrong. This video is kind of old, or at least it was. It's been a while since I watched. But yeah, so and then that's you have to let it kind of go down, like drop speed on its own. If you if you try and force it, it will just pretty much kill you. And he kind of yeah. he kind of freaked out when it hit him because I assume it's because of his like, like I said, it's pretty rapid training. Um, but yeah, he ended up getting into a situation where he punched out a Mark One, and is you know oh, if you, I won't go into detail because it's kind of bad, but. You don't want to eject supersonic speeds. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I'm actually really excited for it. I'm passing this late, by the way. I want to go check out what's over. Yeah, but we'll, I'm actually we'll find a better area. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're kind in. Of it's kind of well, flat. But I'm really excited for the 23 to come to DCS because of how unique its flight characteristics are. Mm. It should be fun. Yeah, well, and I think often I, I, I believe this is a very famous like phrase structure, but in America, you fight with aircraft. In Soviet Russia, uh, aircraft fight with you. Aircraft fight, yeah, yeah. Altitude. Altitude. Yeah, no, the Cold War Russian pilots were something else, dude. Yeah. Oh, and, and Soviet aircraft just... Well, they, they fit into a specific doctrine, but they often didn't do well. I, I mean, I bet the kill ratio of a MiG-23 is 1 to 2. Altitude. I mean, they lost two, two aircraft for every aircraft they killed. Which... I'm just looking for any cool peaks right now. I don't know where those peaks were that we were looking at earlier. <laughs> no, I mean, there's, there's some nice looking mountains over in front of us here, and I think I see a few peaks starting to show. Gotcha. 
just passed us here. Where are you at, Gundam? Uh, I'm still behind y'all. Okay. Frame rates nice aren't game. helping. He's just, uh, yeah, he, we're going seven. pretty fast. I'm like 600 something right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing's. I, I, I'm in like 30% like throttle. I can punch you into burner and. If you want her to catch up, go for it. Issue is we're about to probably gonna run out of fuel pretty soon. I got. I still got 9,000. Okay, gentlemen, time to target. It's 2 minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, though. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> have y'all seen the movie Gun. Gundam and Ted? Have y'all seen the movie? I have not seen it. I probably I, won't I, see it till it comes out. I like, just watched it yesterday. I went to see it and had the worst experience of my life so before the movie even started, so I ended up Altitude. sneering. Oh uh, no. Altitude. I watched it in uh, Dolby Cinema and today I was going to watch it in IMAX. And they took it off IMAX for the new Jurassic World movie. Dang, um, that's wrong. That, that, yeah. that, that's, that's a crime. Dinosaurs to took over like, to Top Gun. Or do we have someone to our right here? I see um, some mountains now. Do we go to the ones in front or the ones to the right? I think the ones in front. The right ones don't look very interesting. Okay, the right ones don't look like it's gonna. What's your uh, IES on it? Uh, I'm running 600 right now. Uh, I got my 700 because uh. I've just been I've been mill power this entire time. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna turn off my afterburner detent. Or no, there we are. Turn. There are my afterburner detents off now. So. I don't That's have an afterburner detent. The best thing about the Warhawk is the fact that I, it's built in. It's just wonderful. You see this little uh, this this area in front, like directly in this canyon, looks pretty interesting. But I have a feeling I'm gonna regret it. I guarantee it'll just come out to a wall, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Go for it. Was was no one gonna tell Blue he's been using his air brakes this whole time? Am I really? Yeah. Oh, and his afterburner. And his afterburner. Are you serious? Later. Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. Oh Not my anymore. god. You're fine now. That's what that sound was this whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can hear wind breaking, it's probably not a good thing. Are they still out? Uh, I don't see right now. No, they're not. All right, let's go inverted over this uh, little bridge. Oh, sick. Oh, you know I already have to do it though. I don't know where you're going, but uh, I'm going this way. <laughs> I'm diving down. That was dope. That yeah, made that made the I whole mean, trip worth it. That whatever I just saw when you made that flip <laughs> in front of me. Okay. Yeah. There is nothing better than watching other people maneuver in DDM. It really is. That's why I don't like whenever I'm, especially when I'm streaming or anytime. I like not being number one because you get to watch everything. Oh, my puppy's climbing on me. Hello. God, when did she get so heavy? I'm gonna take a right turn. I want to get back in these mountains. These mountains are interesting. Uh, my little, deep. where'd you go? Oh, yeah. Where'd you go? Right. Oh, there you are. You're going left or right? Which way are you right. going? Sheesh. Right. Make your way, make up your mind. <laughs> oh, sorry if I'm banking right, I'll probably end up going right. You're like banking left and then right and then doing upside down. I could have been right, I'm catching easy, up. I'll straight right for me. I lost you though. Oh, wait, there you are. I stripped down a bit. Blind spot. Yeah, this is more like it. This is like good ravine. Or canyon, I guess. I don't remember what these are called. That's what I was wanting to find is some kind of canyon, you know. Like, there's so many mountains, you just don't know which ones are connected, like a canyon, you know. Yeah, it's like, because sometimes, oh, that's a nice lake. Sometimes you'll fly through one, and then that'll just be super boring, like this. Just, yeah, like, like this, like, uh, nothing. I'm gonna invert all this. <laughs> So I've been in burner with my speed brakes out all this time, and nobody say nothing. <laughs> you like to watch you fail, Blue. No wonder I'm low on fuel. I was about to say. How low are you? I'm very low, like it's flashing fuel at me right now. Should we turn, should we turn back? We're not far from the airport. Are we not, are we really not far? I don't We've think kind of so. flying around. Like to find not to far. Oh, we're only we're at like 20 miles because we've been sticking with this ridge. Yeah, I have like less than uh, uh, yeah, yeah, very little, <laughs> very little. <laughs> I'll stick around. This stream is assassinated you, Blue. Hey, well, as long as oh, I land really somewhere, nice. I'm yeah. okay. I, I oh, yeah, literally break the news to you're not landing. So if we find right. a glacier or something, I can land on that. The, the, the land, that 16 miles. is flimsy gear. 15 miles. 
Yeah. You'd be better off belly landing. I'm pretty much. Yeah, you're not far from the airport. You're 15 miles out. Yeah, right. yeah. We'll try it. We'll shoot for it. You're pretty much going to be in it. We're on a base, pretty much. Well, not exactly. We're coming out at 45, but you'll see. All right, I'm going to finally manage to catch up to y'all. That's because he finally came out of my bag, power. <laughs> What's your IAS Hornet? Uh, 550. I'm dropping quick, though. Okay. I better come out of burn. This then, thing is just a flying air brake, though. F-18 is a flying air brake. Could be off, I think it's obscured by this hill. Oh, no, no. Uh, off our uh, 10 o'clock. See it? Yeah, oh, it's right there. Wow, we were really close. You're right. The, the mountain ranges in this game, like in this map, though, are, are really fun. They really are, yeah. It's way better than any other mountain range. Agreed. Yeah. DCS That's in the mountains are... is always fun, with one caveat. If you're flying the SU 25T, because I've flown that, and I'm literally going, trying to go up a mountain, and I'm getting my stall horn, you know, and I'm just crushing you over the top. I am going straight in because I don't know much if I have enough fuel to go around. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm, I'm just going right. ahead and ready so you can go. For What's the bottom right of the F-16? You have the fuel gauge. I know, but I don't know what that means. Is that thousands? Is that a hundred? <laughs> you should literally just say like nine thousand or like three thousand. Yeah. yeah. The closer it is to zero. <laughs> oh, I am on if it, if it the first zero, tick. I'm one tick above zero. Oh god. No, you, yeah. should, you should actually have a totalizer. Like it should say a number. Uh, on the gauge, yeah. Right below oh, the wing flex yeah, this game. I'm about to go around because I'm too fast. I'm, I'm like wind? doing a crazy turn right now on the F-18. The wind, the wing flex is just. I love the wing flex so, in the 18. Yeah. Deep break up, That's pull cool. up, and then do like a a barrel roll, and that should kill your speed. That, I'll do a short, I mean, I'll do a short flex, final. I like the wing flex in DCS. It's cool, but if I were in the actual aircraft, I'd be like, Urgh. yeah. Fire's right. wing flex is kind of scary. Like you can see the amra like the wings are bending nine degrees. Alright, uh, after this I think we should go over to the islands. Okay. The Falklands. Alright. Yeah, I wanted to spawn right, there yeah, or fly sure, there. Sure. That's my question. I'm not <laughs> sure if we can fly there, but whatever, we should land. You can fly there. I, did, I did it in a in a hornet with like three bags and I made it with like two thousand pounds, so I don't know how I don't know how the F sixteen would fit. It'll be fine as long as we're not in Bernard. Climb high. With uh yeah, with uh speed rigs out. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's very, very <laughs> crucial to have the speed break, though. Are you uh, going to be landing now, Blue? I am on uh, left base for uh, I am final, whatever wrong right this now, is. I can, uh, it's actually it's wrong. Good approach. Good. Uh, uh, Gundam probably should go around. <laughs> yeah. I'll just do like a pattern thing, but I want to. I like my approach right now, so. If Blue goes up in flames, I'll try and have Nah, I definitely need to be a go around. Oh, I see you, Blue. Are oh, you going the other way? No, I'm right behind you. I might just land the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a chase <laughs> yeah, plane thing. All right, see if I can land an F-16. Good luck, Blue. I'm gonna need it. Eh, we'll see. Altitude. Okay, I'm gonna lift back up. Oh, <laughs> oh that. There's a nice 18 landing right there. <laughs> well, to keep the nose up, right? So, yeah. Difference yeah. between a naval landing and an air force landing. <laughs> okay, I mean like. Oh gosh. <sighs> yeah, the navy does hard landings, and the air force does clarified butter landings. <laughs> oh wow, we made yeah, it. The, the air force's butter landings are a little finesse. I, I call them clarified butter because they're just so smooth. All right, I finally caught up to you guys. Nice. All right. I'm swinging it back around. Blue, are you? Uh, I'm still are on the runway, but I'm back. exiting. Okay, well. I'm gonna just do a low pass right, and I'm then I'll final. join the final. <laughs> Worst happens, we all die. It's okay. Somehow you didn't break anything. It's just a long way to the to exit. <laughs> so. I feel a lot I'm on final. Here. A lot longer. Uh, I think right, on my personal it. mission, I'm gonna start putting some fighter jets at this airport. Plenty of, plenty of, plenty of runway. Put it, put it with the hello port. Must be probably hello. one of the most fun, like, uh, airports I've landed at on this map. This one? I just. Yeah, me yeah. too. You know, another one that's really fun. It's one the very far east. Um, it's called Port Something. That I just one's like really build. cool. Um, I, I know like, the one you're talking about. Just looking at his approach, it's really stunning, in my opinion. 
I, I'm gonna park and then spectate you guys land, and then I guess we'll just respawn over there. Oh, butter. We made it. What do you think my landing rate was, chat? Question is, <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> We like to go for those thousand feet of minute landings around here. Of course. I'm gonna call landing. that, uh, your landing was a 10 out of 10 because there's no crew chief to get mad at you. Yeah. And that's what really matters, though. Exactly. Yeah, he spills his coffee over himself. Oh, God. <laughs> and I did, I don't know sure who it was, but I did, I did catch somebody uh, doing a flyover. Alright, S16 on final. <laughs> I had a feeling it was. I don't know where the brakes yeah. are, so... Right, you're on final. Let me just stop. Is it a break? That's not Wait, break. someone's on final? Cool, we're gonna do a line up, a line landing then. Wait, we'll is there another person on final? Break. Maybe. There's, There's two people on final. Down, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll Top down. Gun is on final. There you go, I'll take the right side of the line. The uh, okay. And... Well, we got some separation. F-16's so on, on final. On. Yeah, I'm the F-16. Wait, wait, wait. I actually survived this yeah, you managed to land it here for the first time. I'm not that my first time too. And I came in super fast. <laughs> there we are. Okay, AOA is good. Uh, frame rate's not. And, uh, oh my god. Huh? They really uh, fix the lag on watching people oh, land. Oh, what? Did he sink through the runway for you, too? Yeah, you literally went to Africa first, and then you came back. Well, I was, that was, that was a great to China, okay. But I'm gonna yeah. blame that on lag. <laughs> it was not, not a good legit, landing on my screen. Legit Australia. Legit Australia, oh. yes sir. There you go, ab races. That's okay, I'm leaving this plane here. <laughs> I All right. Falklands. I'm trying to fish. I'm trying to figure what I should fly in the Falklands. Should I hop back in the F-18? Should I take a helicopter? If you get an if you get an Apache, I will get your CPG. And I'll just look around with the pads. I'm down for that. I'll hop in. I'm not sure where this helicopter is, but I'm gonna click on this spot. We don't want really, We won't actually have anything to engage this. So. <laughs> I can't fly the Apache for the life of me, so. I can I I can fly a little bit yeah. You know. I've been you flying a little bit lately. Skilled at helicopters. Like well wasn't your last stream something about firefighting in a helicopter? Yeah, I posted a video yesterday doing firefighting in a helicopter. Uh let me see if I can find Okay, this one over here. So I'm, I'm a little bit uh in the huge not sorry, in the Apache in San Carlos. Wait, Excellent. no. Yes, yes, that's what I'm doing. Oh, somebody just died in an F-18, I just saw that. I think I just died in the church. I have no idea what any of you are talking about. No? No? Nope. No, it froze. Yeah, I had a chance. Hopefully we can make it. Just loading the other half of the map now. I got my second stick out. <laughs> yeah, same, I need to grab. Let me I grab my Alpha, stick. my Bravo, and my uh, um, Xbox controller to fly the thing. Why do you need well, a second I just stick? Well, I one for the, for the tads. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Like, a lot of my... Because I use my, um, my right stick for, like, the slew and stuff. Oh, that's well, I think I cool. have... I, I have, like, um... Dude, I have, like, a uh, Zoom and that kind of stuff on my second other stick. Alright, are you in? Are you, are you in? Are you in? Uh, give me a second. Who's flying which Apache? There's more Apache. Oh, there's another Apache. Hey! Hey, Apache! Yeah. Do what you're doing, Apache. What you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where the heck are we? We're in San Carlos, part of the East Falkland Islands. And I don't know what's out here at all, so we're just gonna, I guess, roam. We're uh, gonna find out. We I mean, we could attempt to go to a place called No Man's Land, whatever that is. Sounds sounds pleasant. I think I'm a, yeah, I'm just gonna head towards the other airport because I don't know where else to go. That's the thing in DCS. Like if you don't have targets, you just kind of like oh, where 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 should I go? What should I do in my life? Yeah, twenty seven miles, one three one. 
I haven't known you already, Mr. Uh, Gunner. Um, I'm loading in, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not needed to fly. Alright. I could, I'll just, I'll just give you some nice flur imagery. I mean, sure, I'd, that I can't see. Could, well, actually you can. Oh yeah, I can, you're right. You can I'm, I'm gonna go look right now. NFTs. Boom, it's on. I can see what you see. Um, <laughs> I'm... I'm gonna make sure you have that all those settings correct, but no, um, I I can see what you see. Move it, move it around. You see this? Uh, I'm just loading in, but uh, you're not moving in. See. I, I'm taking. Yeah, off. I'm not. I, I'm just loading in. Which? I got like, a set slight. How are you in that like, like, perfect hover? That's what I'm trying to find out. Raw talent right here. See, the <laughs> thing is, this aircraft is you just got to walk in. That's AI. That's an AI. Oh yeah, what a beautiful takeoff right there. That's yeah. AI on the right. Oh no. Oh my god. No, no, you, you've nailed it, you've nailed it. We're good, we're good. That's we're a human. Tank, no? Yeah, you this sure? This is all so tactical. <laughs> was... Alright, before anyone dies, because the longer we sit in the same spot, the more we're... Yeah, I'm gonna take off. Let's see. If you yeah. slam into me while I'm maintaining this hover, I'm gonna be so displeased. Am I a bug? I am just going to go the other way. There we are, alright. Oh, okay, don't worry, I'm not gonna hit anybody. You're okay. Oh, watch out, light pole. Oh. Alright, I'm airborne. Which all way are right, we going? Fellas to... on me, I don't know. We're gonna go in this direction. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the to load in. I may be out to hover, but I certainly cannot formation fly. So if I do collide, I'm sorry. This, we don't have a dome, Blue. We don't have a what? We don't have a FCR. The dome on top. No, no there there's, 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 are loading in now. That, 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 I don't think that exists yet, and right, they haven't it, added that. It's on as well, a model that you can put on, but it on t-shirt. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. I sure. And it looks like the uh, I don't know. So far, just looking in the distance, the islands are much less mountainy. Yeah, now the the islands themselves are relatively hilly and barren, which makes for a perfect battleground. I got Flur Madrid. Not sure how well you can see it. Uh, I don't know. You go to bid, and then you box both cads. On um, both the things it says it says tads in, we get a full view, and you can see my cursor. And oh yeah, yeah, well. I see it. You see the symbology? Just it, curious. I can see. Oh, uh, I only see. Yeah. Oh god. Huh. <laughs> Just fired the gun there. Was not expecting to hear a gunfire. Looking yeah, good on the laser left. Laser designate, and then. Yeah, I'm looking right now. It's next. Let's I get believe we're going south, right? No, going east, ish. For the apple? Trying to go towards the airport. Where is the apple? Uh, south. The correct answer is yes. East. <laughs> Why don't we have rockets? Do we have any weapons on here? Wait, no. Besides guns. Didn't load Why are we going south -west? You did not load in any uh, load in any weapons on here, Blue. So your, we did not. your gunner did not load any weapons. My gunner, I I it's your fault. Cannot, I cannot load any. I, I do see a mountain. I'm gonna go towards that mountain. It's on our left, at our niner. Alright. I mean, we, if you if you want to fly land, as low as possible, if, though. I fly with my little eyes. If you want to go back to the to a field and land, I can. I will happily be on us. I mean, I we're, happily, we're, we're good. We we'll would just be if shooting you at go to trees. Mount Pleasant, yeah. Well, the trees must have done bad stuff. Yeah, they deserve to die. They have not been supplying enough paper for us lately, and I think they deserve to, uh, there's Let's consequences see. for that. Yeah, that uh, is the tree's fault. Yeah, absolutely. Right, we're about, we're going, uh, okay. Pablo Escobar. Uh, yeah, Pablo Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're about, uh, 2,000 meters out from the uh, mountain. Copy. It I looks like really close. Company. Is it actually far? I'm not sure. It's I'm probably just, quite far. I'm just <laughs> using my. Ooh, look, there's little rocks on. I'm not. If you look at my vid, there's some rocks on the uh, rocks on the mountain. Wait, are you looking at the mountain right now? Yeah. Oh wow. It's Chad. 
Oh, there are rocks on the mountain. It's crazy that you can see that because I cannot see anything. It's like a big blur. Well, that is. That's you. Good wait, TV. Wait, wait. There's like five bushes in front of us. I, I saw that. that. I, I thought it was just me. Yeah, there's like only five oh bushes. Oh my god. This isn't barren. The Taz is a very excellent site. I'm pretty sure there's an episode of Naked and Afraid on his island. Uh, 100. Man, I can, imagine how screwed you'd be if you did get abandoned on this. There's side. another five bushes. Oh. Might be six. Oh, some rocks too. Nature rich. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. It's like to fire the gun. It sounds so nice. I lost eyes on the mountain. We're lost. I have no uh, sense of reference of where we're going. Are we going north, south, east, or west? <laughs> uh, just come right a tiny bit and don't crash. We're going up or down. Are we going up or down? We're on heading right now for the mountain. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm proud of my formation flying right, right. now. It's I can distant, see it on the Ted's. Good. So, if you look to your right, then I'm to your right. right. Ted. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was turning right. Scared. Yeah, we're close to it now. Proud of your flying team. If you look at the rock formation, you'll soon be able to see the little detonations of uh, bullets. We're not that far. I guess you don't have any uh, hellfires either, huh? No. No. But someone did not. Oh, actually, let me set us to attack mode and then I can uh, give us some acquisition sewers. No, uh, pew pew. Oh, that formation looks beautiful, guys. Alright, uh. Cross over yeah. to your left because I don't want to send a range of robots. Can you imagine if you, like, press F3 and imagine these three objects coming at you? F3. What oh, that yeah, do? I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. That's the flyby. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. Unless I'm at an air show, I do not want to see Apaches approaching me. Do you see those? Uh, <laughs> do you see those rocks on the mountain? Or unless I'm like uh, in like unless I'm infantry and you're on my side. <laughs> I agree. Don't want right, to go there. I up that mountain now. I can see it. It is so flat. Like it's just I'm so. Surprise! <laughs> How flat it is. If it's flat, then I'm gonna go for a wheelie. A wheelie? You're gonna do a barrel roll? No, let's see. Here we go. Oh, oh my no! God. Wait, that didn't work. Oh my god! I can't see oh, that. No. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> He's here doing. No, it's not right. That's not exactly a wheelie. That was a cartwheel. All right, we lost one. <laughs> Might have been an accident. We were almost it's not, there. It's, it's not as flat as people think it was. <laughs> I just shot him with a lot of sleep when I'm here, so they won't be able to salvage any of it. It's fine. Interestingly, for some reason I can't use 30 millimeter. Yeah, you guys are approaching that hill, and no one's climbing. <laughs> Why would we? Why would we? This is Top Gun, bro. You meet the hill head on. We have to do oh, the we have to do the the here. ridge clear. You know what do you call it? The one you clear the ridge and you go up and you do the barrel roll and then you come down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That inverted. There we are. Pull out a roll call call it. Mm -hmm. I can shoot with the HMD now, so. All right. Let's see if your your wheels if you can literally uh, wheel your way up this mountain. The way to do it. I actually don't think I'll be able to close. Oh no, I'll be fine. I think we're good. Like, I'm not even putting any power in. <laughs> oh no, you might. Um, Unlimited power. The there we are. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this rocks that we're about to hit. Done, because I'm gonna. Yeah, there's like a random rock formation right at the top. And I'm peppering. Yeah, I noticed that. There's some rocks on my side too, on the right here. There's yeah. A lot of rocks right here. Actually. Must be a volcano or something. So why are the rocks yeah, there with wrong. nowhere else? Made oh, it. actually, that's pretty cool. What you guys are about to pass over. It is really. Oh wow! Look at this area. It sounds lovely. Oh. Just opened my window, so now I can. Uh, now I can hear the sounds. Where did Ted go? I'm off your right. I'm on the ground, so you're not off oh, my yeah, right. You're dead. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Wow, part. there's actually a lot of rocks out here. But like a lot of randomly placed, odd shaped rocks uh, that are actually apparently our targets as well. 
Uh, look at that on our right too. Like over there, that like long. Sh Are you shooting too? Possibly. That sounds amazing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm going to outside of you, and I want you guys to start shooting. Shoot. All right, turning right. Enemies at R3. Wait, hit, no, hit the I'm rocks. The I'm on the three. That means I'm practically dead. Not the you. Rocks. Not the helicopter. Don't shoot the helicopter. Shoot the rocks. Got a hard helicopter anyway. Imagine a tank battle going up this mountain. I got my window open, so I'm looking out the open window of my HMD, and I'm just. Bro, the lighting is just I'm amazing. Being... You were definitely gonna run out of uh, guns. We're gonna go we rearm. We have nine rounds left. Nine rounds. Yeah, we should go rearm and then get some heavier stuff too. Uh, yes, I Spider Potato. Rounds. I do have a, uh, a CPG in the front seat with me right now. His name is Gundam. All right, let's go find that airport now because we're all low on ammo and it's just too fun to shoot stuff in Apaches. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's too easy. It is. It really is. I uh, didn't want to go heading uh, one one zero fourteen. One one zero for fourteen. Button. Copy. Making a left turn. One one zero. That's my eye headlong. I can start the same thing. I'm like a thousand feet from. <laughs> yeah, it's like 700. You're like flight level 250. <laughs> I'm just a 737 with the engine in the wrong spot. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Spider Potato is a real person. Huh? How's my flying? Call the number on my bumper sticker. Um, how. <laughs> I'll, I'll, let me go look at the bumper sticker so I can give you a zero. <laughs> uh, just kidding, you're doing good. You're doing good. It's really easy to fly like in a straight line or a straightish. It's, it's just hard yeah, it's also hovering easy to and landing here. and <laughs> sometimes and taking off. Really, you're not actually, you really shouldn't be hovering that much, honestly. Because if you're in actual combat and you're hovering, uh, uh -oh. Russian Are we on the tanks ground? can launch uh, anti-tank no. guided missiles from their uh, from their barrels, and those will take you out. Yeah, I was funny. I was funny, Apache, uh, like last week, and uh, oh my god, did we just land? Holy. <laughs> did you just land us, Bloom? I don't no. know. No, yeah. <laughs> I feel like ground effect ground. saved us. That ground effect straight. felt weird. I was like, why does it feel so squ squishy down here? Um. I was like I said, yeah, so last week I was flying the Apache on, I think it was a Through the Inferno or the 4YA, one of those servers, just for fun. And I was going for like this tank group and didn't realize there was uh, some kind of ground unit that can shoot missiles into the air. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, yeah, no, that's pretty much most tanks from Russia. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and, uh, and so I had to like. It's my first like real chance of dodging missiles in the Apache. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, and also generally, yeah, often I don't. You shouldn't be hovering. Uh, one thing, one thing where I definitely, like as a CPG, don't want my pilot hovering is I'm trying to shoot the gun because that means that means that um because obviously it's an area weapon system and it could be inaccurate and the spread could be off. And if you're hovering and it's suddenly going up a little and back a little and front a little. My spread's basically everywhere, and I can't really hit anything. But if you go forward consistently, I can consistently aim and actually get hits. It's easier to be accurate that way. That's that is uh, a DCS. Thing. That's a DCS thing only, though. What? Which part? Uh, the inaccuracy with the gun. It's oh. um, the the actual gun has a has a a linear motion compensator kind of thing, like a stabilizer that works with the LMC. Mm. I think it also works if you're not using LMC. The LMC's I, odd. The LMC's great, it just takes a lot of getting used to. Well, I, I, I generally just use it at fixed position because I can never seem to steer with it. I do use the, um, I do have a mini stick too, and it's just really odd. Once I, once I start getting it going with the mini stick, I can't get it to stop. Can you check on yeah, our direction? Are we going the right way? Uh, we'll go a bit off. You're going to want to be going heading, uh, 096 for 11. Alright. And I see uh, Ted ahead of us, right? Uh, Ted. Yeah, Are you, you, want, me? you, you want me to give you uh, some Ted's video of, of Ted? Sure. Uh, if I can find him. Because 
Yeah, it could have been a man pad. I don't think it was definitely a tank because I was shooting at him. As soon as I, I got the little notification that somebody was locking me, I saw a missile flying. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, the um, the the, the Russians with their barrel launched ATGMs, it's just something fierce. Yeah, they're also like laser accurate with it. Yeah, though they they really are. Because they're AI. Yeah, exactly. But like since the last update, AI have been a bit too good lately. I'm not sure how you guys feel. Uh, well, well, I'll tell uh, you what. AI haven't affected. <laughs> like, if if we, t I no offense, Blue, but if you took if we took like you and three unit Tunguska, it'd probably become the worst SPA in the game, because it's really hard to keep your sight on an aircraft that's flying. On uh, what F eight? What anything? <laughs> yeah. Well, try, like, okay, I can't actually find you, Ted, because the clouds, and you might have also be over like a. I can see him, but I have the little dot turned on. You guys just behind me. You have the what? Oh, uh, so there curious. he is. There he is. I got. Yeah, I. I hate labels. Can I spot like, things for you, like uh, like when I use George, or is that only yeah, a George you, thing? You can. You can. It's just the CP. It doesn't work the same. Like he, hmm. he'll, he'll. There we are. So he can slave to your HMD. I don't know how to do that though. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The only reason I know how to do half the shit I do is because I have friends that have work on the Apache and fly it, as well as like different friends, obviously. All right, Blue, um, I got they, us. I got us a video of Ted. Ooh, man, I just lost yeah, it. Yeah, because we we down low, we down low, low. No, actually, I turned on the LMC. Um, Can you believe I haven't used a trim at all this whole time? I. Wouldn't know what to think because I I don't fly the Apache. My hands are my hands are I lack sore. skill. You lack the skill. There's not a single tree out here. It is just like can you imagine just walking around? It's just I'm not sure if it's hot, cold. I'm not sure what the temperature is like out here. All right, Blue. Wow. If you look, I see buildings, and I see another on, helicopter or something here. in the air. That's not yeah, a helicopter. Yeah. That's a jet. Definitely I got a, a jet. Ooh, a jet. Yeah, I, definitely I'm a, a jet. Way. I'm gonna try and get some video of him. Currently looking at Ted right now with the Tads. So. Yeah, it's a fast mover. Oh, I found five more bushes. For a total of fifteen bushes. I got some trees off to my left actually. I do there see that same red house again. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, how high is that mirage? I'm gonna try and find them, but cracking. Oh, he's high. Need to shoot that. Can we blow up the red building? I'm tired of looking at it. Um, if we had missiles, but someone forgot to arm us. Can we commit war crimes? I'm tired of looking at it. Yeah. Oh. Is that a. Is that a fast mover? Oh, there's the Mirage. Oh, I can't I can't actually move fast enough. But if you look at that little dot, blue, that is the Mirage. So, is what, what jet or aircraft are characteristic of this area? Do you guys know? Uh, Harrier and Skyhawk. Nothing. Well, Skyhawk is what yeah, Argus nothing. uses. A Harrier and a Skyhawk? Where is a Skyhawk? A4. I don't think they, I don't think oh, they the operate Harriers down here. I, I, I can't get out fix so. on that. Uh, oh. That, I'm going to try and actually use the LMC. I, I'm landing, by the way. Um, got, I'm not sure how you got so far ahead of us. Maybe because you were at 25,000 and you just... Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly definitely what happened there. Why do I set sarcasm? Well, no, I'd never be sarcastic. And yeah. yet, I doubt that. Uh, There's another red building in the distance. Yeah, I'm, I'm, from now on, I'm sort of shooting all the red buildings because they're targets. That's well, what red. That's what red means. What are you gonna shoot them with? <laughs> Whatever I have with me. Never. I, I control most of the weapons. Did you use all the guns? I used all the guns. Oh. There is that little Apache. That's... I wish I could get like a point track on it. Need some laser help wires. Honestly, when we get there, I might try to see if I can do a flip. Look, there's more mm. rocks on the left. Mm. Is that an airport? Okay. Is that the airport? No. Yeah, I'm Wait, landing on the wrong one. rocks are on the left. I'm not. Sure, I left you looking, but I, oh, I see him. Okay. Yeah, like everywhere. I think I might actually see the fence to the airport now. 
I'm loving the new Fleur engine. I'm down. Wait, is uh, it new yeah, Fleur for every every plane that has Fleur? Every plane that has Fleur now, I believe. Yeah, sure. There were some glitches with it, but it's they should be mostly fixed now. Okay, are we still in the right direction? Because I see buildings, but I don't see the airport. Um, if are you are you you're watching oh, my wait, tabs, that, right? right? Oh, those are those my tabs is looking lines. at the uh, airfield. Actually, I'm looking right now. At it. Okay, over there. I'm gotcha. taxiing to landing. Taxiing to landing. Taxiing to parking. There we go. Taxiing to landing. Yep. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's how I do it. That's how it I works. Understand. You're not a real professional like myself. You know what I want to do? I want to land on that one airport we talked about, the one all the way to the east. Ooh. I got to. Not an helicopter. It's going to be uh, a long flight. Pretty hot, <laughs> Ted. Hey, man, that's some dedication. Not today, not today. Okay, that Mirage looks like he's trying to land it. I'm still very much still on the runway, and this thing does not taxi quickly. I don't see him right now. Is he behind me? Yeah, he's coming on to your line. Oh, wait, that's a different Apache. Different is another Apache. It's all feel like an EOS zone, yeah. You know, we did take off with four, and I was wondering what happened to the fourth one. He crashed. <laughs> no, the th that was the third one. That was... Oh, the fourth one? No, there was yeah, four, four Apaches took off with us when we left. Yeah, and fine. we got here with two, so we lost two Apaches. I'm not sure what happened to the other two Apaches. Unless he's behind me right now. One thing I do like about the map is you'll notice that every airfield has a, a, ton, a ton of helipads. <laughs> yeah, that I think a lot of that might have come from the Falklands War due to them wanting to, things that could respond a little quicker. Yeah, your gun is uh, really hot on the flare. <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to decide which one. I, where, where'd you go, Ted? Where I didn't see you on the I'm ground. taxiing right now. I'm off the right, the right of the runway. Land like right here on this strip of concrete plume will be close to him. I want to land on the helipad. Test my landing skills, see if I still got it. Oh, I see, oh, I see you now. You. I got eyes on him. Shoot him. I, I don't have any ammunition. What? <laughs> I, <laughs> that was a I was, you, you actually want him to shoot me? <laughs> After everything we've been I'll tell you what, when you load up, I'll reacquire him on the tad. Oh, there's okay, a... when you land, make sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You just make sure you're facing. Facing so I can view him with my flur. I see the other Apache now. There's three of us. All right, we're coming into the land on the helipad. Crying me, I'm loading up my ammo right now. Shoot. <laughs> Wait, is that another Apache? No, that's that's a rock. All right, let's see if Actually, I can do this. Oh wait, I I can't tell which one you are. Good. Have a uh, oh, you're the landing one. There nope, I'm not the landing one. That's a decoy. Damn, ahead of the game. Oh, would you look at that? I'm fully loaded. That's crazy. How do you do it? No one knows. Man, I do not get very good FPS around these airports. I'm actually fine. I, I get better FPS. Blue, we're, we're, than we've I completely boxes. missed the uh. Yeah, I know. I, I I got like really stuttery, and I just like decided to abort. There we are. Okay. Uh, this is not the Steam version. This is the standalone beta for DCS World. I do not use the Steam edition. I don't recommend anybody use Steam either. <laughs> yeah, I know they. I, I know it does go on sale sometimes, but I, I don't. I recommend getting the regular version if you can. It's hard for me to judge my uh, like speed down because it's just stuttering so much. Ah, uh, you're going up right now. Uh, I don't know why it's stuttering so much. I your specs are some. So about to land lines. in the grass, blue. I know. I'm about to die in the grass. <laughs> a little bounce. That's fine. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, uh, save it. Rolling. Save it. Out, save, it. it save it. There we go. And oh, right no, on the, the hold on, the right on the H. Nope, nope. Blue. <laughs> I think you have to get a new Apache. I think you've destroyed it. I <laughs> you guys are within my gun line. 
please shoot us so we get we have to get a new one because I don't trust that there isn't some damage system. I'm, that I'm, no, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna shoot. Find out about. I don't know if it's gonna hit. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to inch closer to the edge. <laughs> You're on a lot more. Actively coming <laughs> off the bottom of the aircraft. Hold on, Luke. there we go. Okay, we're here. We made it. Okay. Um. Now. <sighs> yeah, I'm ditching this plane. Oh, I got a fire on the edge. But wait, do we? Is there an Apa another Apache in Mount Pleasant? Yes. There's two. Of them. Well, no, I knew, I know, but is there like um? Is there like? Oh, like the spawning there? one? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure, honestly. There might not it be. There should be. There's a bunch of helipads here. Well, I just see a bunch of ones that say ground, which don't inspire confidence. Oh, well, if, if you search around and you find a spawn, I'll join you with your CPG. If I'm not, I'm trying I'll to decide if I want to fly an F-16 or a 18. No, the A-16. Did I snipe one of you? Yeah, you showed me. Nice. Height reduction surgery. <laughs> I want to get just one landing at this one airport and then I'm good for the day. And then next time we come out to this map, we come back fully loaded weapons hot. Gotta survive. I'm just patiently waiting for a, uh, a liberation campaign on this map. I was thinking I that too. I don't, I, I guess it doesn't work right now, right? <laughs> no, they have to update it. Oh, look at this. Funny canyon run. Okay, just went away. Um, it, I mean, no, people are making a, a liberation campaign for it, it just takes a minute as well. Uh, I saw an orange circle on the map just a second ago, and it said funny canyon run, but now it's gone. So I guess it was an accident. I don't know, okay. Alright, I'm in a 16. Uh, Mount Pleasant has not. Okay, I guess I'll hop in as a. Oh no, it does. It doesn't have Maybe I'll take out a Mirage for fun. Pick your Mirage out. I, I don't actually know how to really fly it. I just want a dog plane. That's all it's really good for. <laughs> it's in a bad spot, like in DCS, because it's too advanced for like Cold War stuff, really. But it's not advanced enough to go up against the Hornet. It's just got bad missiles. Uh. No MFDs, that kind of stuff. Let me take away my third stick. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna break out the black F-16. I gotta say, personally, I'm not a big fan of the black liveries. You're not a fan? So wrong. Nah. I think I think the base one is the best, like very much, almost uncontested, the best of like on all of them. I don't really like the desert that much. I don't like to get black. Try black. That's fair. Perfect. Um, Ooh, should I take some armament so I can, like... Um, Alright, reload fuel in. Rearming. To bring, bring CBUs. <laughs> I should bring some bombs so I can freaking bomb those red houses. This is not our server, though. It's supposed to be a friendly server. I don't know if I'll get kicked by bombing their map. Destroying all their yeah. buildings. The left one instead of a right one. God damn it. Noticing, it looks like my camera's was lagging for a second. Don't worry. Next time, we'll come back with the bombs. Uh, I don't ha know what my plans are for next week. I don't stream tomorrow because I have work all day, sadly. Um, and I don't know what my schedule is next week yet. I think one day I, I think I may only be doing two streams next week because we're supposed to do something for Father's Day one day during the week. So, we'll see. Alright, rearming complete. Some magics. I can uh, Mirage is actually a very nice plane. What did you say? Uh, no, I, I had an idea, but I'll speak to you about it off stream if you want. Alright, I just gotta find out where the runway is. Take a right. If you take a right, I'm lined up, uh, and then it's just literally straight in front of me. 
I haven't flown this thing in ages. Me neither until now. Or the other flight. Perfect. Alright, what runway are we taking off from? Oh. One zero. Okay, uh, we're taking off so. from two two eight maybe. I don't uh, I think that yeah, that one checks out. I need Cats. to I uninstalled MSFS. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, you uninstalled uh, MSFS to download this map? Um, to download this map and a few other things, yeah. Because I couldn't, I, I uninstalled like every other map I had, but because MSFS takes up so much storage, I kind of had to. Yeah, MSFS will take about a good old hundred, maybe two hundred. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm still doing my like, uh, ground training. Uh, for ATC, and it's like I kind of realized while I was doing it. I don't, I don't think I, I'm very interested in flying right now. Like mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, airliners. But, but I mean, I you don't even like ATC for for Vetsim, right? Yeah. But you don't, you don't like use Microsoft to like at least you know do tower views or nothing. I was considering that, but I kind of came to the decision of I don't know if the amount of storage it takes is worth it. Hmm. But I'm kind of regretting it because at the same time, I've been really wanting to do like shared cockpit flying. Um, and I think I think that's they're, they're still working on it for like the 737 and all that stuff. But people, uh, someone I know was sharing like a ton of pictures of the DC-6, which I own. And I was like, damn, I could I really want a shared cockpit that thing. I'm back. What did I miss? Am I still oh, on the ground speed? Uh, Maybe. don't know. We're in the F-16 now. Oh, okay. I'll be in the uh, 18. You were KIA. Ball. Yeah. I came back from the dead. Razagul's pull. Uh, I know it's lagging, guys. It's this airport is killing everything right now. I gotta get out of here. I love, I love how you have better specs than me, and I'm not struggling. This is truly a, it's weird. a moment know. of pride for my computer. Right, I'm gonna fall in behind y'all. Yeah, I'll stop moving. Like, my, even uh, my camera is lagging, which is not French... connected to DCS. Oh, you know, it could be your RAM maxing out. Bro, I have freaking 32 gigs of RAM. Yeah, I, I do too, <laughs> and I can't even run Chrome on playing DCS, or my game will like start. It makes really? no, that legit makes no sense. I have 32 freaking gigs of RAM. Oh, there should be no funny. game that maxes I'm out my RAM. I'm 16 gigabytes in Minecraft. I saw a post from someone with 256 gigs of RAM. That's too much RAM. I have 64 and I don't even touch Wait, it. Wait, is that a F-18 cash bar? Oh, yeah, so I actually know that that's sort of what actually it is. It's an emergency arresting. Can they have this at like U.S. Air Force bases? If you've yep. seen the hook at the on the F-16, that, that is what the hook uses. Was a hook? Was a hook on F-16? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah, small yeah, one. yeah, but it's, it won't work for like carriers or anything. No, it's, it works uh, for like that. That thing's like low yeah. tension. Uh, it goes for a while. Right, I'm taking off because my computer's about to blow up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully that's model. All aboard! All right. Um. All right. French time. Le baguette to the sky. Le baguette. You say le baguette like as an up? Oh god. The baguette to the sky is what oh, I believe. Triangular it's baguette. baguette. I don't really know French, but I pretend I do. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, but uh, no. burner. This thing. The Mirage is slow on the burner. 32 gigs is plenty of RAM for DCS. Well. Oh, it is. It is. Well, you, you no, run okay. don't ever I, let somebody tell you that 32 gigs uh, is not enough I RAM. I disagree to an extent <laughs> with Syria on a complex mission. Syria is something special when it comes to performance. It's incredible. Look how smooth I am right now. We are now, what, two miles away, and I'm already getting butter again. <laughs> so. Hey, look, I'm just saying. Hey, he's bragging about his 32 gigabytes. I got 16 gigs, having no issues right now, nothing. But that's what I'm saying though. Like, like my issue is they can't be just my no, RAM. Have, it has to be I something have, else. Because if you're running at 16 your gigs, and you're, you're smooth, then it can't be that. I mean, I'm obviously well, we streaming, streaming as well, but that doesn't usually. That is true. I don't usually use well, what, streaming what as an excuse. Because it could be your CPU, like struggling. It probably is my CPU. All right, I'm gonna. Actually, let's see, Master Arm on... As long as it's what not a 10900, you're okay. I don't, I don't know, know what, what I have. Mean. Uh, 800. 
breathe. Your speed's 800? No, your speed is 800. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's 600. Jeez. I was about to say, <laughs> what are you flying? It's 600. Okay. Uh, the screen should not be frozen. It's not frozen on my side. F18 needs these speed breaks. Screw that. Matter of fact, my controls. stream says I've dropped not a single frame, so you shouldn't even be buffering. So re refresh. Alright, I'm on your left. My, wow, this thing is struggled to fly. I'm so used to F18 now. It's different, right? Even the it's throttle management rate is, is very different. Roll rate is different. Everything about this thing is different. It's weird because it. it it's almost like uh, kind of disorienting when you roll and then pitch because the pitch is so much, I don't know, heavier than the roll. It's, mm -hmm. it's weird. But yeah, eventually, I mean, uh, you know, eventually I have to get a... Here's the problem. If I was a gamer on any other games besides Flight Sims, my computer would be freaking... You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the same boat. Man. <laughs> it would be like, you know, I'll be, I'll be bragging. Oh, I got a 1080 Ti. <laughs> Dude, uh, I mean, I, did, I do play. Yeah, I, I do uh, play a lot of games, and my PC is more than enough for like 90%. I legit run Ultra DCS. on everything else but Flight Sim. Yeah, and I'll open DCS, and I'm like, damn, my PC is so worthless. And then I'll open another game, and I'm like, man, this thing's amazing. Right, airport's supposed uh, to be over here somewhere. See, I can run Ultra on everything but Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, same. Wait, is Minecraft really that bad? No. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I, for, I for some reason cannot handle it. Oh, there we are. I'm, I'm in on your left wing now. I got you. I gotta get a screenshot. This. Here we are. Turn all that nonsense off. Alright, I'm. Alright, oh, so there is the airport down below at our 10 o'clock. You I'm see it? Looking. Next uh, to all the red like houses. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it on like the little spike there? Yeah. Kind of lands. Oh, yeah. So, since I didn't do the overhead break earlier, I'm going to do it this time. But well, you're in a VIP, it's kind of obligatory. What? You know, you, hop in, you hop in the F 16, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Got these massive light poles on the end of my my uh, jet right now. I wish I knew how to flare. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, think I, I don't even think my count wishes are on. Now they are. Oh, All right, stay right where you are. All right, don't move. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Oh shoot! Too much. <laughs> you know what? The idea was there. The idea was there, and then I went up, and I was like, wow, this is way more sensitive than I'm used to in the F-18. <laughs> yeah, the th yeah, it's a thought that counts. <laughs> right, I got visual on you now, Blue. Yeah, right, I'm full I'll burner. I'm about to do an overhead break, but the buzz about to go boom. I mean, I'm I'm definitely not doing this. You're meant to do, like, an overhead break, like, 300 knots. I'm coming out at, like, 650 right now. Oh, I'm 700. I'm about to be 700. And right. there's seven. I'm looking for you. I'm on. The, I'm like right over the runway boom. right now. I heard a sonic boom. Second sonic boom. Who's supersonic? Oh, I'm supersonic. I'm going 800 knots right now. Mach 1.1. I'm doing a left hand break. Oh, I see it. Viper or Hornet. I'm Wait. doing a left hand over there. Shoot. Uh. G-lock. Behind y'all, you. Oh, I'm about to G-lock. Wait. Kill Larry. That's not an overhead break, by the way. Chat, F right. FYI, that's not an overhead break. <laughs> what I just did. <laughs> I did. I did one, and I deserve a medal. Almost broke the wings off. I did a beat. Right, I'm landing at Port Stanley. I'm just doing a bucking maneuver. Slow my fleet airspeed. You still do uh... Sonic. I just got another Sonic move. I will say though, the the revamp they did on Sonic Booms is so amazing. It is, it really is. It really has some like, base to it now when you're in a cockpit. Whereas back, a couple months ago even, it would sound like you were outside the cockpit when a Sonic Boom happened, it just wasn't that. Yeah, it I mean, sounds really I'm good in the cockpit base. as well now, yeah. I'm stalling my Mirage, but I am on final. Okay, well we might, you know, if we slam into each other, it's fine. That's what we call a technicality. 
Gear is down, or coming down. I'm doing some really sketchy stuff. How many stuff. people are on final right now? Everyone. Four. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, nobody abort. Everyone go for it. Okay. Yeah, we'll just see what happens. I think <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Opposing direction. Oh, wow. Okay, I touched down it. Like this. 180 knots. Oh, I forgot I had taken all my, uh... I ripped all the I ripped the tires off of all my landing gear. It's only an F18. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You. We're gonna land at the same time. Oh, that's perfect. I'll take the left side. I'll. T I guess I'll take right. All right. So I'm about to cover up the runway with my uncontrollable mirage. Um, I'm trying to figure out how my speed is 190 and <laughs> I'm trying to slow down. I'm coming in hot. But my AOA oh, is hot. like, oh, you're gonna land right oh, on the way. Gonna, no way. This is gonna be beautiful. Oh, there's shoot! A, there's an aircraft in there. There's an aircraft. <laughs> no. there's an We're aircraft. about to collide. We're about to collide. I can't see anything. Arrow breaking. Arrow breaking. Uh, I've lost all my tires, so it's a bit of an issue. Oh, the end of the runway is near us, by the way. Is it? Great. Yes. Because yeah. I'm still 90 knots. We're doing heavy drift. No, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I'm not gonna be fine. I am perfectly fine. Full nope, brakes. Nope, I crossed over the threshold. I'm over. The, I'm in the yellows. It's I might fine. make it. It's I fine. might make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm going faster than you hit. guys. Blue. I, oh, I no. came in at 200 knots. I passed the threshold at 200. Yeah, that fence has come. I landed. He's passed me. I landed at 180, but luckily I destroyed all the wheels on my oh. landing gear, so the horrible friction got me. Dead. Ooh, look. See, the detailing near here is actually nah, really good. There's just... a bunch of flowers on the ground, and there's stones and grass. It's just it, not it, great. This one buff out. Is this you that just nearly slammed into my rear? Alright, I'm coming. Mirage yeah, is rejoining. It. This will buff out, don't worry. Can I turn? Does nose wheel steering work? Oh, it does. Right, how about ground right. dogfight? Okay, oh, here we ground go. dogfight. Um... Oh yeah, this is some high intensity stuff right here. Uh, oh dang it! Oh, you're you're about to get it. You're really about to get this one. Oh, you're gonna regret fighting me. Huh? <laughs> oh, here you go. Why is your dash oh, no. about to oh, run no, away? Here it comes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm alive. I, I lost. I lost my tail and my nose cone. Wait, how did an F-16 survive? You're still in it. You're still in an afterburn. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wait, yeah, is that, I'm, I'm a survivor, example. but I have I I I'm a survivor, but something's definitely wrong. <laughs> You're just missing your entire half of the wing. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. I wasn't using that, so it doesn't matter. Is the ground crew gonna be able to fix it? Yeah. Where'd you go? That's what they're here for. Yeah, I'll just go here and take this twin otter. Oh, it's not a I else. cannot hear anyone over some jet right now. The way we like it. Yeah, there's a top gun fixing a fence, I believe. Uh, yes. Yeah, doing some maintenance on the fence. Is it too late to eject? Uh, no. Never too late to eject. Any time it, the only time it's too late is when we're already dead. That's what I said. Okay. So. I Average do... DCS lobby. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna post this screenshot in Blue Arrow Force. Sounds good. But I got I got this lovely screenshot of both of our wrecked planes blue, side by side. All right. Well, uh, aerobatic server, everybody. <laughs> this, is, this is um. This is um. A different one. This is. I don't remember. All right. I know you probably can't look blue. I might have just slammed into the ground. I have no idea how they're still alive. Alright. For anybody who can look in blue, of course, a nice screenshot of me and blue's wreckages. Alright, we're going to the aerobatic server now? No, no, I was kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. I gotta go. Uh, let me go ahead and sign off here. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for flying with me. It was definitely a lot of fun. I like the map a lot. Uh, hopefully, I can figure out what's going on with my stuttering. Could be because I'm streaming. Could be because we've been live for two and a half hours. Um, Has it really so, been that long? I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm trying to find right now. <laughs>
No, cool. three hours. It has been three hours oh and five minutes now. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm Tony, DCS is just such a better experience with friends to the point where you just, you do lose track of time. You really do. I 100% agree with that. But um, yes, on that note, uh, I'm going to mute myself in Discord real quick so I don't have to annoy you with my outro. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you have three choices. Oh, wait, before we do that, Spider Potato, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, Kajas, thank you very much. Kez. K6Lev, thank you so much for chilling with us today. Appreciate it so much. Uh, Alex R, thank you. Uh, Aviator Joey, thank you so much. Mad Dallas Gaming, thank you so much for coming coming through and chilling with us. Troy Blackwell, thank you so much. And sorry for all the stuttering we had for a little bit there. Um, don't know what was going on with that airport. Gigliades, thank you so much for chilling with us. And to the rest, until next time, remember you got three choices. Give up, give in, give it all, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out. Sheesh. <laughs>